to another live. Let me make sure my cord and stuff is it's not pulling. Welcome back to another live, guys. Um, I just made it home. I've been on Eris B Live. Uh, you know, I love to support everybody. And um, yeah, she had a really good live tonight. Just want to make sure the camera is good. Okay. Do we need to be back some? Thanks. Oh! It's doing its own. Look, why do it twist like that? What? Why? I don't get why it does that. Who cares, child? Anyways, welcome, 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 welcome to another live. Maybe I should pull y'all closer. Make sure y'all like the live as you're coming in. I made me a cocktail. Hey, Train. Train, it's been a minute since I seen you. Okay, South Phoenix tapping in. Hey, Sam, I am. You all look so beautiful tonight. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yeah, it's been a minute. I haven't seen you in a minute. How you been? I hope all is well. Don't forget to like the live, guys, as you come in. Um... I just made it home, and I'm about to, I may already made me a cocktail. I already been sipping, okay? We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna act like I ain't already started, okay? I started. <laughs> so, mm. Hey, Justin. I mean, <laughs> I see making changes and hi, Justine. I said, hey, Justine, hey, making changes. Hey, Michelle, welcome. Y'all know I'm already tips. That's okay. Because tonight is, uh, we're celebrating, right? What does we celebrate? Easter? What is Easter? Ain't that Resurrection Day? Is that Happy Resurrection Day? Am I, do I got it right or do I got it wrong? Huh? Let me know. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I got to make me another drink, so. I figure I'll make that with you guys once y'all on in. I feel like my camera's up too high. I feel like I need to be on my tippy toes. See? Like, I feel like it's too high. Let me, hold on. Let me just do some adjustments real quick. I don't know if it's too high or, oh. Oh, I feel like this is better. I don't know what I did, if I did anything. Okay. I feel like that's better. I don't know if I did anything. Y'all, this adjusting this camera stuff. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. All right, y'all, don't forget to like the live as you're coming in. You're looking good as always. What you been drinking on? I'm drinking on, now I'm drinking on something new. I ain't drinking on no wine tonight. I'm going to show you. Hey, Miss Justine, did you get your lashes done? No, these little old thick lashes, girl, these are mine. <laughs> Hey, Rayana. Hey, welcome. I'm loving the hair. My hair is really getting old and tired looking. The flat iron, the soup press is not doing it no more. <laughs> Passover. I thought tomorrow Easter. Ain't Easter Resurrection Day? Hey, Nikki. I was, I was about to go back and leave a comment on the video I watched earlier. Was it a good video? I hear Eris B saying it was a good video. Y'all, normally I don't like to even address anything. You know, really, I'm not that type of person. But I don't know. Just, just I got to feel it some type of way about that damn dog got hit. And girl, I have to just call people out because I, I, the foolery is, 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 is being too foolish. The foolery is going way too far. Way too far. Anyways, um, this one, I made me a cocktail tonight. I'm not drinking wine. I want a cocktail because I ain't been drinking in a few days. So I figured, hey, let me just mm, make a cocktail. Anyways, I was at the grocery store and they said this makes cinnamon toast. I don't, I don't think it tastes like cinnamon toast, but it does taste cinnamon. 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 <laughs> so I got rum chata with hor horchata. And then I got Fireball, okay? So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna refresh this drink. Mm-hmm. 
Ooh, wait. Ooh. That strength, that drink is strong. So this is my little like measuring cup, which is a shot glass. This is what rum chata, this is what the rum chata look like. Girl, don't it look like milk? It look like um creamer. And it it actually tastes really good by itself. Tastes like cinnamon milk. That's exactly what it tastes like, cinnamon milk. So anyways, we're gonna dump this on up in here. Like that, like so. What is it? This is a Caribbean rum with dairy. And then we'll take the fireball. I'm here, it looks good, thank you. Hold on. That drink sound dangerous, yes it is. This is very dangerous, but I'm living life on the edge, okay? At least tonight I am. I don't really want to do too much of this fireball. Fireball's good though. <laughs> I'll probably regret this in the morning. <laughs> I will regret it in the morning. No, I ain't gonna regret it because baby, I know my limits. Plus you gotta drink water. Always drink water when you're having a cocktail. Hey, what's up? Um, hey, Deanna, yes, Fireball. <laughs> I'm here for your content. That grandbaby is so precious. He was the face. He has the face you can't say no, right? Yeah, matter of fact, he hasn't made it home yet. So anyways, um, my son, Hella Craig, got family in town. So I just left the Airbnb. And he, he kind of wanted to stay and play longer. So I let him stay and play. And I started, came home so I could start my little live, okay? So I could chit-chat with you guys. And um, I can have me a drinky drink and a, and a live in peace, okay? Cheers. Don't forget to like the live, y'all. So anyway, I was at Eris B Live tonight, and she was talking about like, what would you have? What would you want to have more? I mean, what would you want to have? I mean, if you could have one thing, what would it be? Your eyesight or your hearing? Did she say hearing? Yeah, hearing. And I voted eyesight because even though if I couldn't hear anything, I think it's more important to hear because, I mean, see, because they do have a lot of things for deaf people. And like, if it's somebody on your doorbell, you'll see a light flash in the house. If the phone was ringing, I think you, 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 you're able to see things visually versus hearing. If I didn't have my eyesight, girl, the girl, that's scary. That's scary not to have my eyesight. Somebody come to my goddamn house and I can't even see where the hell they at. That is scary. So, baby, I need my eyes. And right now, I need to go get an eye check because I feel like my eyes is just not doing it <laughs> like they used to. Y'all don't, don't know, but when you get older, your vision is just not as clear. Unless you got 20-20 vision. I don't know. I never had 20-20 vision. I've been wearing glasses since I was a little girl. Okay, so my eyes really already been kind of screwed up ever since I was a little girl. So I appreciate some eyesight. All right. <laughs> um, that look like a mudslide. I don't know how to make a mudslide, but I'm gonna look it up. Glad I caught you live this time. Hey, Stephanie, welcome. I want to see the beautiful things in life. Yes. You know what? Living in Arizona, they got all these mountains and views and every day, even though I've been here for like seven years, but every day I go out, I feel like it's, I'm new to it all over again. I enjoy nature. I, I enjoy what, how it's mountains here in, in where I'm from, Wisconsin, it's flatland. We don't have mountains. You might go up a hill a little bit and look down over a little hill. When I mean little, I mean little. <laughs> Over here, they got mountains, okay? <laughs> Man, I love scenery. Luan here. Welcome, Luan. Luan, the loved one. Hey. 
Some some years ago, my neighbor made a drink. She was a bartender. Why was I on the floor and couldn't get up? Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Lord, please don't let me be on the floor tonight. Hey, still I rise. Welcome. At least you're not hitting dogs. Period, boo. <laughs> At least I know how to, with my eyesight in the nighttime, and that stigma, what you call it? People say they got stigma. What is it called? Stigma. Baby, I ain't got stigma, but I'm just saying. Nighttime, people can't see. They got stigma. They're wearing two, three glasses, baby. You can't see. Like, you got to stay inside and drinking. Uh-uh. You, you got to do, you, you can't do all those things. Hey, welcome, Angela. Mm. Excuse me for sipping. I agree. I would want my vision, but both are important safety because you hear things that you can't see. Exactly, Nikki. You know, the other day, I heard something. So, at first, I wasn't going to get out the bed to see what it was. But I said, no, you got to get your ass up out the bed to see what that is. So, I got up that out the bed, and I got on the, went out in the hallway. And then nothing happened, so I went in my room and locked the door. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that noise was, but you know, I'm standing right here. So if something was going to happen, it would have to happen right now because I'm about to go back in my room and lock the damn door. <laughs> you were not going to get me, period. <laughs> These goddamn fruit flies are killing me. They're everywhere. What are you drinking? I'm drinking rum chata. And um, fireball, y'all. I should stick stuck with wine, but I'm do. I'm 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 feeling a little edgy tonight. I'm feeling a little frisky. Okay. Um. Mm, mm. Sorry, I hate to make that noise. Um, I'm from Colorado, and even still, I'm amazed by the views. Yes. Let me see what, just then she made that drink so strong, but it didn't taste like it was good. Oh, <laughs> yes, Sam, I am. I still love the views. I love to, wherever I'm going, if I'm going to California, Florida, or wherever is the ocean, I enjoy the ocean. I remember when I went to Cancun, Mexico. This was some years ago. Damn, 20 years ago, I went to Cancun, Mexico. That's crazy, 03. So anyways, I went 20 years ago to Cancun, Mexico, and it was just such a beautiful sight to see blue water and damn near white sand. Well, the resort we stayed in had blue water and white sand. And I didn't know I got a chance to taste ocean water because you know how you out there in the ocean and little water get in your mouth salty as hell. <laughs> salty. I was like, uh, ocean water got in my mouth. It's salty. Hey, Miss Gloria, you look tipsy. I'm almost there. I had me a drink already. Apple cider vinegar would kill that fruit flies. What you supposed to do with it? What you do with apple cider vinegar? Tell me, because I got some. What I supposed to do with the apple cider vinegar? Let me show you what I got. Tell me, because I got some. Please tell me. This is the kind I got. Can I use this kind? What I supposed to do with it? Tell me, because I'm, I'm tired of these bugs flying around. They've been here ever since I had um, some damn bananas. And then now the banana's gone, they still flying around looking for some more bananas. They, these things getting on my damn nerve. I would have locked the door and got under the cover. <laughs> you need the orange soap and apple cider for vent. The orange soap? I never heard of that. My vision was something I felt like I had a weakness, but people said take advantage of why I never said anything, sir, because they could try to use that as a weakness part of my vision. Was something I felt like I had a weak weakness that people could take a vision. People take advantage of your kind of sick people take advantage of everything they can take advantage of. You know, we can have a kind, caring heart, a loving person, and people take advantage of that. 
these men take advantage of, of women as being sincere and want to help them. Women take advantage of. We already know we 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 are witnesses. A woman can take advantage. We we are witnesses of a woman taking advantage of people. Women take advantage. Men take advantage of women. Women take advantage of uh, everybody. <laughs> Pour apple cider in a cup like a little dish soap. Put clear wrap and poke holes with some small holes. Enough for the flies, but not big enough they would drown. But okay, so if I put okay, I'm putting dish soap in and and making little holes. Is they gonna be able to go down there? I feel like I need a cup to be open so they can fly and get stuck. Am I am I understanding right? Because I don't want to. Like, stop them from coming out. I want them to stay in there. I mean, I want them to be able to get in the cup. Am I saying it right? I want to Sorry, guys. My phone froze because somebody's calling me. Sorry. I was seeing you there on the DM. Day is available next month, so we can... Okay, yes, little mommy. Your hair look pretty. Thank you, sexy. They get nets and flies really good. Dish soap, apple cider vinegar, and a shot glass. I have these bugs in the trap. Yeah. They came from the drain. Oh, I cleaned my drain today. I put, like, some... um, I put the, the dishwasher the pod in there and hot water and i you know turn on the dish the what you call it <laughs> the garbage disposal damn i turned on the garbage disposal i put down a little pot and some hot waters and then um damn i need to put like a little cup do I got like a little, I think I got like a little, um, oh, I got them little plastic, oh, I got them little, I know what I got. I got them little plastic disposable, I mean, the little plastic shot glasses. I can use that. Bleach down all the drains. Yeah, I, I, I should have put bleach. I don't know why the hell I didn't put bleach. But anything sweet, they probably, right now, they're probably trying to get to my drink because this, this is probably sweet. Y'all, I'm tipsy. Hold on, let me get my other phone. I'm on live. That's why I had a, you calling me. I'm on live. Yeah, I'm about to. Let me put you on speaker so they can hear I'm talking to them. Let me put on speaker. Yeah, I'm making a little bit more. I'm making a little bit more uh, chicken for my. I'm a little bit more rice for my chicken bones. I'm going to make chicken bones tonight. Oh. Guess what I'm drinking? Rum chala and, and, and um. Fireball. Fire me balls. Did you make a cocktail? Yeah. Um, yeah, another thing, too, you should ask your chat. Uh, um, I got you on speaker so I can hear you. So, so, so another thing, too, you, you, you should say your chat. Uh, in a few months, in a few months, we, we're going to San Diego. If they got any, like, little activities or excursions, they think that we should go because remember we going in a few months. So whenever, so when we go out there, you should uh, act and tell them like, hey, you guys got, if you guys got any little things that if anybody ever been to San Diego had real fun and nice little activity, you know. All yeah. right, so we going on a road trip in a few months. We're going to San Diego. Did you hear my son? And he said, any recommendations for things to do out there? Let 
let us know. You don't have to say it right now in the chat. You can leave it on the, in the comment on the video if you want to. No, something so I can... No, if, they, if they have something live, why not? But another thing... Okay, well, I got to write it down because I've been to forget. So another thing... Y'all been to San Diego? I've never been to San Diego. That sounds like fun. It is, it's going to be fun. I'm taking a road trip, y'all. What you was going to say? I live two hours from San Diego. You do, Valerie? Oh, yeah, we're going to the San Diego Zoo. We definitely going to do that. Because that's one of the things he got listed on the things for us to do is the San Diego trip. I mean... San Diego Zoo, y'all. No, I'm going to blame it on the alcohol. Oh, oh, that, oh there, my mic was muted. So what I was going to say, but so back in the days, what I just found out was it was a lot of uh, Italian people who used to live in San Diego. So many that there, there's now an area in San Diego called Little Italy. So up in Little Italy, is like a lot of Italian food. Um, and, and they also have a wine tour. So oh, like do that, because I want to do that. Yep, yep, yep. So I put that on the list, too. I've been looking up little stuff. Remember, another thing too, you can always get on TikTok or you can get them on Instagram and just go to the search and say things to do in San Diego. And then all type of stuff be popping up. And people are like, hey, go check it out. Go do this. And, and, and you know, obviously, um, I don't think the weather going to be too nice to go to the beach. But I mean, we can still go down there and close. We don't got to like have swimsuits on there. But... Oh, yeah, we can still go put our feet in the water in. And then, and then that's why I want to go to the hotel because the hotel, um, Probably I have like a you know, they have like a hot tub. You know, we can always just go down there and go to have some drink. All of us can go to the hot tub, you know, just chill. So that's why I want to do the hotel over Airbnb. Oh no, 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 yeah, yeah, let's get us a room. Most definitely. Yeah, because sometimes the Airbnbs be like, there's no one thing about Airbnbs, they're fun, but you can ask the chat, what do they prefer? Hotels or Airbnbs? What Marino like, Valley? You heard of Marino Valley? No, what is that? What is it about? What you're drinking? Um, rum chata and um, fireball. Chat, chat this. For the travelers out there, you guys have the travelers out there. Would y'all prefer a hotel or Airbnb? One thing about Airbnb, both of them have pros and cons. One thing about Airbnb, there's no catering. They don't cater to me. Ronnie said yes. The wine venue. I didn't even know they had wine venues in San Diego. Mama, you don't know nothing because you ain't even helping me create no itinerary. You know, I left that up to you. I'm, I'm the man. Oh, they said, yeah. They said hotel, love Airbnbs for San Diego. You think? Ronnie said love Airbnb. And other couple people said hotels. Make it change. Thank you, God. God be the glory. We'll make it change. And then one thing, one thing about Airbnbs, you oh. also, I feel like, I feel like, okay, so one thing about hotels is a little security in them. Well, the only thing about Airbnb is you kind of need to know your area you're staying in. You don't want to yeah, go because you don't want to stay in an air exact. That's yeah. see now that's the thing about Airbnb. Airbnb, you really don't know where you stay. Oh, you really don't, huh? Can you hear me really good? What they say? What they say? That is. Yeah, yeah. What they say? They say he talks so fast. He's super hyper. <laughs> Y'all should already know this about my son. How many times he has uh, been on the chat? <laughs> well, no, it's not about, no, it's about, um, um, no, God bless him. <laughs> he said, God bless you. Um, yeah, I didn't think about that because if we get an Airbnb, you know, one time I heard another uh, person went to it, got an Airbnb. Was it, um, ooh, was it, um, now I'm thinking about it. I think it was Kyra when she went to have surgery in Florida and she said that she had changed Airbnb because the first one she was at, it was looking sketchy. Yeah, we don't know what area we getting when we get an Airbnb. That Airbnb could look nice, but that don't mean it's in a nice area. And, and, and I've never heard nobody had no bad experience at an Airbnb, but it's just all that, you know, like security, go, traveling and security is always like a thing in mind. You know, you always want to make sure you're in a really nice area. Air, uh, um, Valerie says it's cheaper if you're looking, depending on you're looking for more space. They said the hood is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, your fam it's your family Airbnb. Yeah. 
But we don't care about hot we we don't care about hotel. I mean, we we don't care about staying in a hotel either, cause hotel was our thing. Remember, we know nothing about Airbnb. Hotels was the first thing. I like Oceanside. What is Oceanside? Is that a community or is that the area to stay in? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. What I was gonna say was in the hotels that, that, that I want to stay in, they're right on the ocean. Like you got views of the ocean. Oh yeah, we want to stay on the ocean. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're literally like I'm talking about. You leave out the hotel, you do. 30 steps, you're going to be on the ocean. Like, these are the hotels you got to stay And Ronnie said, if you want to cook and stuff like that, it's good to have an Airbnb. Hotel seems a lot more safer. Yeah. yeah. Hotels is safer. Yeah. I think I it's all like, depends. I feel, like, I feel like maybe maybe when you're traveling with a bigger party, you probably can save some. So, like, so like, if I'm traveling with a whole family and I'm, like, instead of me going out to eat paying $30 a head, maybe it's cheaper to eat it at the Airbnb. But if it's just us, I think it's, I think it's better to when you're traveling to new locations. It's also uh, fun to try new food. So I don't want to do too much cooking at the house. We always cooking at the house. Yeah, you know I, mean? I want to get out and try different foods, try different this, try different that. Period. You know what I mean? So, like I said, it's pros and cons of both. But I always be wondering what people think about Airbnbs and hotels. So, and if if we stay in at a hotel, we want do we want to do stay by the ocean, something with good views. The beach out there is pretty. I'm old school. I still like a, a flip key. What's a flip key? You mean like a like a key card? What's a flip key? Yeah, Airbnbs is good for yeah bigger crowd. Get one on yeah. the grill. Yeah, you can yeah, run. Yeah, we're gonna do all the little sightseeing, the little tours. They said, Luan said, Matt, can we come? <laughs> Oh, oh, y'all. Okay, speaking of what he just said, souvenir. Okay, so I was talking to my son the other night, and I said, you know what? Since we bought this, because we want to start, we finna start traveling more. So I was telling him, I was like, you know what? We should start collecting things on our travels, so what, that way we can say, oh, we've been here, been that. And I said, what do you think? You think we should collect shot glasses? Do you think we should collect postcards? Do you? What do you think we should do? And this, you you, you got to think, this is a, a mother and son thing. So, and I thought about, at first I thought about, like, charms for our bracelet. But I was like, he's a guy. He don't, he don't collect charms. And I said, so what can I do with my son that we can start collecting for and showing where we've been? See, some people, Luan said shot glasses. I think shot glasses, too. I think shot glasses too because we can technically find a little display for our shot glasses. Magnus is another one, but I was like, is Magnus old school? Because you know how people used to have all them goddamn magnets on their glass on their refrigerator, and I don't want to flood my refrigerator with magnets. <laughs> what y'all think? Let's have uh, let's hats. Oh, I didn't think about hats. That is another good one. We can collect hats. Like baseball caps, you know what I'm talking about? Speaking of shot glasses, my, my son, Hella Cray, bought me a shot glass the other day. Let me show you what he bought me. Y'all won't believe this shot glass. <laughs> My son bought me the shot glass the other day. Oh, my God. why did he buy me? I was like, this is cute. I love it in like the 50s, like glitter. You see the glitter? That is so cute. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm 50. Damn. Let's take a shot of that. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. I'm 50. God bless me. God bless me. Uh Justin, speaking of Diddy, did you hear the audio? Yes, baby, I heard it. I heard it. My ears is to the streets, okay? The YouTube streets, Instagram streets. 
Whatever you think I don't know, I know. <laughs> I'll be on it, okay? My kids always told me I should be able to do T-channel commentary. They's like, Mama, you be knowing every damn thing. I really think I would be good at it, but this is really not my forte because when I used to do reaction videos to people's stuff, I used to get so much backlash. But I did get a lot of subscribers, period. <laughs> uh, I just, I just, I just, I just strayed away from that because it is a lot of negativity. But uh, if I did do it, I was doing it good. <laughs> I used to get so many comments, so much backlash on the video. My oldest son, he's like, man, I'm just here to read the comments. <laughs> he used to be like, he ain't watching my video. He wanted to just read the comments. Because <laughs> it was just too much. <laughs> All right, let me show you. So, you know, I just strayed away from that, you know, because I was like, that's not the really kind of. Okay. I was like, that's not really the image I want to have. You know, I don't want to be negative. And stuff like that. I was just talking about that earlier this morning. I don't want to be negative and stuff. So I just drifted away from that and just started doing like vlogs. Okay, let me see what y'all said. This is my girl. Let me tell you, this drink number three. This is going to be the last drink of the evening. Because drink number three, I don't know what I'm going to feel like. I'm already tipsy. I mean tipsy. Hello, girl. I love that young man. Yeah, he's a good kid. I say good kid. These people's grown, but they my kids. So when y'all talk, first of all, I'm, my kids are going to always be my kids. I can't say my adults. Don't nobody talk like that. Even though our kids be 80 years old, baby, that's still our kids. Then your youngest child is always your baby. Like, come on now. Like, if I'm, if I'm 100 and my son is 80, I'm going to be like, that's my baby. What audio, where can we find it? Girl, look up Meek Mills and P. Diddy. Just look it up. Everybody's been posting the audio everywhere. And it's, you know, bedroom sounds. I'm just going to put it just like that. Girl, it's bedroom sounds of Meek Mills and P. Diddy. Google it. Put in your search bar and you will be shocked. I need this video. I, we needed this live to 100 likes. Can we get 100 likes? Ooh. Can we get a hundred likes? God damn. The struggle is real. <laughs> oh my God, Lawan, did you hear it? Did you hear the bedroom sounds? Now, let me tell you something. I like me a little, you know, little, little, um, How can I say this? I like hearing some things, but I don't want to hear two men's going at it. I don't want to hear two men's. Okay? I want to hear a man and a lady. I want to hear the backboard hitting the goddamn wall and she's, uh, you know, I just, I want to hear that. I don't want to hear two men's. I don't want to hear it. Somebody said, oh, I feel like my ears just got. <laughs> I, I can't say everything people say, but just go. Listen to it. Like, I want to hear the bed break. I want to hear the back wall. I want I want to hear the headboard banging. Like, I want to do, 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 do. You, you ever been to the hotel? You ever been to the hotel? You heard some the, 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 y'all ever been to the hotel? Y'all hear the headboard? <laughs> Girl, I've been to the hotel where I heard the head, headboard. Matter of fact, I was at the hotel with my ex-husband, and we was out there and we heard the, 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 the head. I said, you hear that? They is getting they group. Oh, I love to hear it. <laughs> I love to hear that. All that man, and then somebody calls somebody daddy. Oh, Lord, Jesus, please. I don't. <laughs> but hey, you know, each is on, you know. So each is all. Oh, I don't want to hear it. And you know, I have. I know some. You know, I have, I know some same sex um, 
I have same sex people, same sex that like the same sex. I have the people in my family and I don't judge and I don't do that. Okay. I don't do that. Okay. But I just did not want to hear that. Okay. And if it was my loved ones and they talking about, they want to show me their tape with their guy and they a guy. I'm like, baby, please, please, please. I, I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't want to see it. <laughs> Oh, please. I love you, though. I love you, but I just don't want to see it. <laughs> uh, I'm buzzed like mom. I'm buzzed like mom. Hey, can we like the live, please? How y'all doing? Okay, so they say tomorrow's Easter. I'm not used to having Easter in March. I'm used to Easter in, in um... And um, I'm used to Easter in um, April, okay? So I didn't even know it was a holiday yesterday until I had went to the doctor. And when I say doctor, I mean the med spa. I went to the med spa. And then it was like, yeah, today the holiday. I said, today the holiday? What, what holiday is today? Oh, today, Good Friday. I said, Good Friday? It's March. Good Friday into April. She said, I know it's weird. It's, it's something to do with the leap year. And I don't know how they figure this stuff out. Normally, it falls in April. This year, it falls in March. I said, baby, I didn't know it was a holiday. Then they said, Easter is tomorrow. Easter tomorrow. Wow, Good Friday was yesterday. Easter tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I am confused. I thought Easter is around April 12th or something. Uh, I, I, <laughs> what was it last year? April. This year, March. I'm so confused. I'm conf I'm confused. Mm -hmm. That's like Thanksgiving. Every year, Thanksgiving the dates change, but we already know because Thanksgiving got to fall on a Thursday. Why do Thanksgiving got to fall on a Thursday? Is it because it started with a TH? I'm confused. I am confused. It's Thanksgiving because y'all, 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 listen. Don't try to act like I, I'm drinking and I don't know what I'm talking about. Why do Thanksgiving have to fall on a Thursday? Is it because it started with TH? That's the only thing I can think of because it started with a TH. Who says it has to be on a Thursday? Why Thanksgiving couldn't be on a Friday, on a Saturday? Why y'all don't have the same date as Christmas? Every year it has to be on a Thursday. It don't matter what day it is, as long as it falls on that Thursday. I think because it started with a TH. TH Thursday. Thanksgiving. The, the, the. I don't know. I, I just don't know. Because Black Friday got to be on. But who's, why do Black Friday got to follow Thanksgiving? Why? Who made that up? Who made, what is Black Friday? What is Black Friday? Because I always thought Black Friday was a shopping day. It's a holiday? I am confused. Let's Google it. I got my phone right here. Let's see. Hey Siri, what is Black Friday? Hey Siri, what is Black Friday? This goddamn Siri don't work on this damn phone. I don't even know. Do Siri work on this phone? Do this phone got Google? I don't even see the word Safari. You can't delete Safari, right? This phone got, this phone never got Safari. I swear this phone don't got Safari. Oh, here goes Safari. Safari is the damn compass. <sighs> Lord Jesus. Hey, oh my God, I just cracked my neck. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. The last day Siri has prevented Zero trip. Hey Siri, do this phone got hey Siri? I don't even know this phone don't got safe. Hey Siri, 
What is Black Friday? Okay, this phone is not equipped. Sorry, y'all. This phone is not set up for Hey Siri. Black Friday is the Friday after Thanksgiving. Are you on an Android? No, baby. I'm on iPhone. See? Apple. I love Apple. It traditionally marks the start of Christmas shopping since. That's why I'm... Oh, my God. I cracked my neck. Oh, Y'all, I did something. I ain't got no business doing. I cracked my neck. And I hope I didn't push... Oh, I hope I didn't push a meta, meta, bur, meta brain. Uh, what's in the what's in the spine? A meta brain. <laughs> meta board. What's it called? <laughs> it's Good Friday. Good Friday is a shopping day. Thanksgiving. Okay, Black Friday is the Friday after Thanksgiving. It traditionally marks the start of Christmas shopping season in the United States. So it's only in the United States. It's not nowhere else. Why is Black Friday called that? Term dates back to 1960 when a police officer in Philadelphia began the phrase Black Friday to subscribe to chaos that resulted for a large number of suburban tourists came into the city to begin their shop, their holiday shopping. Oh my God, I just learned something new and I cracked my neck and now my neck hurt. Oh Lord Jesus. She's living. <laughs> Who is that? Though? She live right now. <laughs> Enjoy life, thank you. Vertebrae, vertebrae. I cracked my damn vertebrae. I crack my vertebrae. I don't know how the hell I just cracked my goddamn vertebrae, but I hope the disc don't slip. I hope whatever I crack, oh Jesus, I crack a vertebrae. Do we got a disc in it? It got a disc in the vertebrae, don't it? The little jelly stuff. And then what's gonna happen? Oh Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord. Heal me, heal me, heal me. Thank you for my help. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what I did, but when I just did look down at the phone, I heard some crack. I'm like, crack. You know how you, sometimes you hear cracks in the inside of your ear, but don't nobody else hear it? That's what I heard. Hey, Melissa, welcome. It's Saturday, girl. Tomorrow, Easter. You going to church? Why do people all, Why do people only go to church once a year? I never understood that. If I ain't went to church all year long, baby, I ain't going on Easter. Why would I do that? Why would I play with myself? Why would I play with God? Why would I play? That's playing. Remember when we was little, we used to always have our little Easter dresses and it was looking like so little cute, little eat like little tutus and stuff like that. Girl. Just think it's <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <laughs> you enjoy it, girl. I'm on my third drink. I ain't drinking nothing else after this because I already know it's about to go down. Y'all remember we had our little tutus and our little socks had the big ass ruffles around them and them cute little girly dress shoes, the patent leather. We had patent leather, baby. And the minute you get the mug scratched, it was over. Over. O-B-E-R. <laughs> I don't know why I thought to spell that. I'm crazy. Ooh, what else y'all want me to Google? <laughs> I'm only cooking Easter dinner. Oh, you know what? What the hell I'm going to cook? I just thought about that. What am I going to cook? My baby broke her toe last. Oh, Lu Luan. Luan, why do you... Lu Luan, I'm talking to you, girl. Me and you right now. Why do you change your name so much? I just want to know why you change your name so much. You're my girl. But baby, you confuses me. Every time you, you got a new name, girl. I just want to know why. Why? <laughs> and I'm sorry to hear about your baby toe. I mean, your your daughter. That's what I meant to say. Not her baby toe. Not Luan baby toe, but her baby's toe. She said her baby broke her toe. I'm sorry to hear about your baby's toe. 
how did she break her toe? Like, I never broke a bone in my body. I never broke a bone. And I remember one time, I used to say I never had stitches until somebody hit me side of my head and I had to get stitches. And that was my first time I ever get stitches because I got hit side of my head by... I got hits on my head, I get stitches. I used to always say, I ain't never had stitches. I ain't never had broken bone. And then I end up getting stitches. And then I just stopped talking about what I ain't never had because, woo, I do not want to speak anything into existence. Sometimes when we talk about never, sometimes we can bring that into existence. Because I be looking out being nosy for your girl. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind, Lawan. You don't have to explain yourself. <laughs> Luan, did you hear about the girl? Did you hear about the girl hit the dog? Luan, did you hear about the girl hit the dog? Oh my God, I have never seen anything. Like, I'm so sensitive to a lot of things. Oh, she dropped the bed on her foot. Oh, poor baby. I hope she's feeling well. And I don't even know if you can wrap a, a toe up. I think it got kind of like heel on its own. Or maybe, what do you do? Put an ace bandage or something on it? Um, back in the days, my mom and them, they would put, they'll make a popsicle, they'll break a popsicle stick and wrap a, a, a band-aid. Girl, they knew how to do it. They took the popsicle stick, break it off, they make a little spleen, what you call it? A uh, sling, um, splint, child, whatever. They make a little thing and then they wrap it up. Yeah, she crazy. I hope the place seen it. That the wine that blew me away, and I had to get on here to talk about it this morning. I don't know if you seen my live, but girl, I had to get on here to talk about it. And I don't even know. I don't even normally address. Even if she talked about me, baby, I ain't gonna address it. You know what I'm saying? But I had, I had to do it. I had to do it. A splint, yes. Y'all be know what I'm talking about. That's why I love y'all, girl. I hit a met. I cracked a meta brain. A meta uh, fur, vertebrae, <sighs> whatever. Where can I see it in what video? Would you tell my missy my live? Oh, her video. Girl, let me tell you something. I can't even tell you where is that on her video. I don't watch her. Eris B and Circus Recap. They put a video out about it. That's how I saw it. Go to Eris B, looked up, she said something about a dog, and then Circus Recap, she said something about a dog. You have to go look at it there. That's how I say it. I can't even tell you where it's on her video. I don't watch her. Hold on. Because this damn net's flying around my grandbaby juice he had today. I'm finna pour it out because it's sweet. You know the icy? He had an icy and melted. I can't stand it. I can't stand shit like that. Then I'm gonna put bleach down this drain, cause now it's gonna the drain gonna be sweet. All the sweet sugar drinks. Y'all mad? These little nets is nasty. I can't stand this. Watch. I'm getting I'm getting rid of y'all y'all tonight. I'm putting that apple cider detergent. I hope y'all. Oh, I hope you suck every little juice out of it. <sighs> Anyways, the poor dog. The poor dog. Okay, this is what happened. Let me make sure I watch my drink because if anything land on it, I'm slap it. The poor dog, okay? I'm watching, you know, I watch Eris B and I watch uh, Circus Recap. So, you know, I wake up, nah, I wake up, like, look at my phone like, oh, this I am, you know, oh, let's see what's on. Oh, Eris B said, no, first I seen Circus Recap. Circus Recap hit a dog. Hit a dog. What the fuck? Did she hit a dog? And then I got to look in and I, can I look it up on here? Can I? Y'all want me to look it up on here? I forgot I got the other phone. <laughs> I forgot I got the other phone. Dang. I'm, I, something's wrong with me. Something is wrong. Dropping. Hey, Circus Recap. Drop it and say hi. It's just saying to ask if you can get Miss Mary to do a live about how she was assaulted by the. <laughs> you know what? Let me tell you something. Circus recap. Babe. 
Oh, some in my eye. Let me tell you something. I did not even, at the time the video was done, I didn't even recognize that she had did that. So I seen your video and I said, oh, <laughs> oh y'all be catching stuff I ain't even know. Y'all be catching stuff I didn't even know. And I was like, oh, she said, let me grab, and she, she said, let me grab, and she grabbed it. Child. That's why I'm glad I ain't private my stuff. I'm so glad I ain't private my stuff. And y'all happy I ain't private my stuff. I'm happy I'm wrong. Y'all see stuff I ain't even think about. Because sometimes if you don't go back to watch your stuff, you don't be thinking. You don't be thinking. And put alcohol in a spray bottle and spray. Ooh. Yeah, well, I don't like bugs, okay? I'm not going to give sympathy to bugs, flies, and stuff like that. I'm not going to give sympathy to them. They are, they're really food for other animals. But that dog, I gave sympathy for. So that's why I had to came on here. So anyways, I don't really want to show circus recap video because I want them to get the view. But I was going to pull it up. I ain't going to lie. Let me see. <laughs> Wait, let me see if I can pull it up and zoom into the glasses. Let me see. Can I do that? Y'all got to go to Circus Recap video, child, listen. Go to Circus Recap channel. She hit the dog and assault a woman trying to see if people fight. She did a hit and run. It's called hit and run. It's against the law to do a hit and run. Okay? That's against the law. And on top of that, it was animal endangered, that she endangered an animal. Like a circus recap. Hold on. Oh, let me go to circus recap. I I, I watch a lot of comments. I ain't gonna say. Oh, see, that's why I heard, I heard when I jig, jig. That's when I heard my metabrat. My metabrat. Okay, let me go to her community post because I can show it right there. Okay. Okay. In the her community post, she posted a picture. You can see the dog right there. You can see the dog right there in front of the van. In front of the van. Do you see that? Now, I can't. I, now, now, that, now, at first, it looks like a, a, a black a blah. It looked like a, uh, what is that? A bit. But when you once she hit it, you see. Uh, uh. That said it for me. I, 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 okay, so I had watched the video. And then I had to zoom in. I had to hear it. And I'm like, oh my God. It is real. It is real. This is not no. Because I'm thinking, oh, you went by image. You really can't tell if that's a dog. But when you heard it on the video, it said, ah. I was like, oh, she hit it. She hit it and kept going. Oh, this is what she said. This is what she said. Um, I think I hit something. Here you go. Let me let me let me let me replay it for you. The dog came. She turned her head. You caught the image in her glasses. And you heard, oh, I think I hit something. Glanced at the camera to see. Did they notice? Hey y'all. Uh <laughs> Girl, this was it. Girl, girl. <laughs> I came with these folks. I cannot make this shit up. I cannot make this up. I looked at Circus Recap video. I had to watch it a few times. I had to put the, I put the phone like this to my ear. <gasps> and every time you hear, oh, like, oh my God. Poor little doggy. Then I go to Eris, Eris B channel. She posts about it. And I was like, oh, I gotta go live. I, I was like, I gotta go live. Because this is listen, 
You get over, you, 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 you getting over people, you're scamming people, you're doxing people, putting people addresses out there, you're putting people lives in danger, you're doing the fucking most. Then you're scamming, always talking about you this, you that, you need money. Oh, the park costs this. I need money for that. I, 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 I'm hungry. Uh, I need shopping. I need Timu. I need Dollar Tree. I need Ross. Help, help. I got a shopping problem. I got to shop. I got to eat. I'm hungry. But damn it, you sit up there and hit an a, a animal. And then you didn't get your bum ass out the goddamn van to see what the hell you hit. What about if you had a flat? You just going to keep on rolling? What about if your tire would have just popped? You just going to keep on rolling? She need, she, I need underwear. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Hell, you know what? I've been kind so long. This woman called me a hoe. This woman talk about my body. She talk about the things I have, which I don't give a fuck. Because, baby, it's nothing you can say or do to make me feel bad about myself. I look good. I feel good. I don't give a F what you say about me. And that's why I don't dress shit. Because, baby, you don't hurt me. Matter of fact, keep talking. Keep talking. But you hit that poor ass dog today. That was somebody animal. Somebody loved that dog. Okay? You right there shows what type of person you are. We already know you ain't give a fuck about human beings because you don't care about their pockets. You're draining them. Miss Catherine, you sit up there and use. Miss Gloria, you try to sit up there and use for content because you don't even know how to have content. You don't even know how to make content. So you got to use people for anything you can use them for. Then you over there at Miss Charlene House thinking you a decorator, interior decorator. But baby, you blew that. You blew that. The only thing you can decorate is that goddamn van and that damn camper. You can't de decorate a real house. You don't know nothing about interior decorating. Please, stop it. Yes, you did dox me. Stop lying, acting like, oh, I've never doxed him. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I'm the one. I text you my address. Because you need to know how to come to my house, even though you already been there. Okay, so I text you my address, baby. The next morning, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Um, I'm feeling some kind of way. I need to go ahead and go and focus and do things. You know, I've been crying all night because you had got the address, and you're plotting, playing all goddamn night. What you gonna do with this information? Then, as you're driving your merry way to Corsite, you know, driving on the Corsite, you have to talk about me. And I haven't said a word about you. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about any goddamn thing you do or none of that. You're sitting up there talking about me, then you talk about me like a dog. And then everybody's coming to my goddamn chat telling me you're talking about me. For what? What did I do to you? That's some, that's some drama she made up on her own. In her own head, she made up drama. Now, because she's a schemer and scammer, I have to think a little scheming and scamming ways, even though my brain do not think like that. But in a way, I have to think of a scheming and scamming. How do they think? Oh, let me make this fake drama with Justine because maybe I can get views from it, which equals YouTube check. Maybe I can get people feel sorry for me and thinking that she did me wrong so I can get donations. Let me, let me tell my people how, again, once again, somebody done me so wrong so they can feel sorry for and not give me some cash apps. When all along, nobody did shit to you. When all along, nobody did nada. Yes, Olivia, pure jealousy. I couldn't think of nothing. Because anyways, like, oh, I think, oh, my God. I think my grandbaby now I'm here. 
I think we're gonna be. Okay, now listen. Let me tell you something, okay? If things don't bother you, like I, I can't talk about her because nothing she does bother me. But when things bother people, they, they address they address it, okay? Let me let me tell you, girl, why did I homeless man ask for money and cigarettes? She said no because she doesn't smoke cigarettes. <laughs> Man, I, I literally seen a homeless person eat out the garbage can. I went straight in that goddamn gas station, bought her a pizza and a soda. And she's and I said, here you go. She said, oh, thank you so much. And, and Mountain Dew is my favorite soda. Girl, I don't know what was her favorite soda, but I could not stand to look at somebody digging out the goddamn garbage. Okay? Now, let me explain something to you. None she does bother me because she has nothing for me to be bothered for. Huh? You fell asleep? No. Did you fall asleep in the car? No. I'm on live. You wanna come say hi? Um, yes. And you gotta get ready to take a shower. My grandbaby, he been out all day. He been to the zoo. He been having so much fun. Come say hi. Hello. <laughs> So anyways, um, what you, you thirst, what you want? Um, I want a popsicle. Okay, get a popsicle. So anyways, this, I lost my train. Oh, she does nothing that I'm upset about. I don't care. She, she has nothing I want. I, I don't care. Okay. But when somebody talk and address things that other people have, then that shows signs of jealousy. Usually a hater mention things that other people have and do that they're jealous about. See, I would never mention about things she have to do because she has nothing I want or nothing that she does that I care about. So when you sit up there and talk about people body and the car they drive and how they, the, the money, I don't know what you, what's wrong with you, girl? How does that bother you how somebody else live, how they look? How, what they have, how does that bother you? Because the way you live and the way you look and the what things you have don't bother me. And it never will. Huh, go in the other room. Go, go in there, I'm gonna I'm 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 take you a shower in a minute, okay? Like that stuff don't bother me, but to a hater, it bothers them. Them, them issues they have on their own. And they look like a fool to sit up there and talk about that type of stuff all the time on their channel. Like you look like a you look like a hater. You look like you're bothered. You look like you pressed. You look like you're obsessed. I'm just saying. That's what you look like. I could never look like that. Cause me, myself, I'm never jealous. I'm never I really I'm I'm happy. I want everybody to make it. I want to see everybody succeed. I'm never mad, mad at nobody. I truly, genuine try to be friends with a lot of people. Like, I, I don't understand it. I never, ever think I'm above nobody. I don't think I'm better than nobody. Everything I do in my life, I do for me. Period. You were nice to her. She really had issues. She needs to stop. She still has issues. So tonight, Eris B was like, you know, and Eris B got a, that soft side to her, and I understand it because, baby, I have a soft side to me. And sometimes you, you look at certain situations, you like, you know, this woman is really pitiful. She homeless. She got mental illness. She got things going on. Like, you know, talking about her is really senseless. Like, I'm above that. I'm better than that. And I understand where Eris B was coming from when she feel like, you know, you think y'all y'all think we should be talking about her. Y'all think we should um, just leave her alone. You know what? I would leave her alone when I start seeing change. But the minute somebody's still talking, bashing, that shows no change. If you truly genuine change and you feel like, okay, I'm done with that, then you will be generally done with that. But the minute you sit up there and start talking and bashing and talk about, and you stay away from, stay away from negativity, you're negative. Like stay away from it and then negative won't keep following you. But when you keep on talking about negative people, it draws negativity and negativity going to keep on following you. Period. You have fun? Mm -hmm.
Turn it down a little bit. Why? I'm missing. Why? Because I'm on live. Y'all, my grandson is being is becoming a, a handful. I'm going to have to check him. Okay? <laughs> he is come, becoming a handful. He's still a sweetheart, but he just be like a little. You know, these kids be a little mouthy as they get bigger. Yeah, she has lost it. She has literally lost it. People like that needs therapists. Yes. Okay. If you said if you're talking about you won't change, it's something about um Aries B said something about she's trying to change. You know, girl, easy said than done. Actions speak louder than words. Until we see the actions, her words don't mean nothing. You know why? Because I have been with people in relationships and they always say, oh, I'm going to change. I'm going to do better. It was so easy for you to say that, but your actions don't show that. You're not trying to change. You're not trying to do better. You're just talking that shit to sound like a good talk. Just want to be a good talk. But your actions is not showing that. She would never change. This isn't anything new. You're right, Nikki. And then a lot of people feel like, you know, she's just, it, I, I feel like it's a facade. It's a facade. And the reason why it's a facade, because I feel like now, because her views has went down, she feels the need to, to change a little bit of her content because she know it's screwing up her money. Once the money come back up, watch she go back to her nonsense. Not watch she start feeling superior to other. Watch she act like she's the grand, like, like Karen. Oh, Housewives of Potomac. The Grand Dame. <laughs> Karen is the Grand, grand Dame. Why she start acting like she's the Grand Dame or shit? As soon as the views come back up. Soon she, oh yeah, I got them back where I want to. Now let me go in. I have to see it to believe it. Stop talking about somebody body. Stop talking about somebody materialistic. Stop talking about what people drive. When you, the minute you stop doing that, girl, I'll believe you. You can't stop talking about it, girl. I'm still bothering you. You're pressed. Because there's nothing you have I talk about. I can care less. You have nothing I want. Nothing. She has to put herself in a tough situation. Right. Hey, Yvonne. Thank you. Like, that's the only way you're going to do it. Like, I, and it's crazy how it, it comes to messing up her money. To, to That's that. That's why I feel like it's just a narcissistic type of move. Like, she want to act like she's about to be this, oh, I changed. And I'm going to be better. And, and things is going to be different for me. And then the minute it does, this is going to tell the true you. The true you. Like you hit that damn dog. You hit that dog. And in a minute, they were saying that, and Eris B said, Eris B channel, they said every time somebody mentioned that dog in the chat, she was uh, blocking them. She was blocking. Everybody said, did you hit the dog? Where the dog? Hit the dog? Hit the dog? Where the dog? Block, 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 block. And then she had a nurse say, oh, these trolls, these trolls. Girl, you hit the fucking dog. They won't answer. How is that trolling? How is that trolling? A troll is somebody that's trying to start shit. Girl, this is facts. This is not allegations. This is not phony. This is not make-believe. You hit the damn dog. They want fucking answers. Damn. Won't you address it one time for the good time? Won't you say something? Won't you say, listen, I didn't see the dog. And I'm so sorry. I didn't know I hit a dog. So after seeing everybody comment, after watching the video over. Girl, because you don't give a fuck. That's why you don't address it. 
That's why you don't address it. Do you get mad? Because people want to know. You hit the poor dog. Girl, fake it. Fake it to make people feel better. You can't even fucking fake it. Because you don't care. Oh, I, can't get, I can't keep on getting riled up about this damn dog. I can't keep on getting riled up about the dog. But it just breaks my damn heart. It just breaks my heart that somebody's so heartless and don't care. They don't care. Because if it was me, I would have said, listen, I'm sorry. I didn't. I would have dressed it right away. Like, y'all, watch out. Y'all left comments. Y'all said this. I look back in the video. I didn't see the damn dog. I apologize. I feel so terrible. Like, she don't say shit. Block, 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 block. All oh, these trolls. These trolls, they're, they're, they, they want to be heard. Girl, you hit the damn dog. What the fuck you mean they want to be heard? What the? I'm done. I can't get wild. I, I can't let my blood pressure go up over this. I just can't. But the, 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 just the foolery. The foolery has to stop. The foolery has to stop. You could talk about... Aries B, you could talk about me, you could talk about Deborah, you could talk about Circuit, you could talk about us, but your insensitivity, everything, everything about you shows because look what type of person you is. You hit a dog and didn't give to else. You talking about us just shows that we just hit a button. We're speaking the truth. You talking about you talking about me shows that you just jealous and you don't you just don't know what to do with yourself because you're mad. But you chose to live that life. We didn't choose that life for you. And then you get mad because somebody talk about the shit you're showing on your videos. We're not making up something. We're we, there. I ain't gonna say we because I don't. I don't do that. But they're reacting off the stuff that you're putting out there, and then all of a sudden they're haters. Why is they haters? They're coming about the things you do. Well, you left a goddamn crock on top of the stove. The crock that you went outside, walked around. You was in dirt. You was stepping on spit, shit, piss, every goddamn thing, and you brought it back and you tossed it on your damn stove. Who does that? I don't, care if, I don't care if you're living by one by one. You still need to know how to be sanitized and clean. She don't um, give a fuck about him. <laughs> Where's Hugo? Hold on. I said she don't care. She don't care about human life or animals and holy. Oh, never yeah. help others. She argues and make content sneak I dissing. See. She always sneak this. She's always sneak, sneak this. That's why Eris B said, call it out. Speak with your chest. Speak what you're trying to say. She always trying to sneak this. You are correct. True, I went to her channel and said something about my daughter. Would, said some, something my daughter was like, mom, they would come to your channel and spam you. Like, I don't care. She hit a dog. Exactly. She was blocking. Yes, BP, all she was doing. Look, Eris B said... Eris B, I was on their channel, and I'm reading the people chat because you know I I engage with the chat. So I'm in the chat engaging, and I'm hearing people every time somebody mentioned dog, she was blocking them. Somebody somebody said dog, dog, did you hit a dog? Dog, 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 dog. Block, 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 block. Oh, these trolls, these trolls today, they just these one they want to be hurt. Address the dog. They just not. They're not making up something. They don't want to be hurt. They're going by what was on your video. Okay, it was in your glasses. It was in your glasses. The little dog, and then it said, <laughs> like, <laughs> like you know, how a dog. If I know the sound, cause I had little chihuahuas, and the minute I step on one of my damn chihuahua tails or paw, cause they so little, sometimes you make a mistake and step on it. That was the noise I heard. The noise was the sound of pain. You, you know, okay, look, hella crack. You know how we accidentally step on the dog paw, and that's how we heard the dog sound on the outside of the van. Mm -hmm. oh, Damn, I feel sorry because, you know, I don't have a dog right now, but I once had, I had dogs. Like, I had my dog of choice is Chihuahua, okay? <laughs> I had a little chihuahua. The minute I step on my little chihuahua, because they so little sometimes, and you don't be knowing they under your damn feet, and they just want to be under you. I stepped on my, I said, oh my God, yay! 
and he and he and, and they run away like this, holding the paw up, like like you'd have just killed them. I was like, oh my god! Now she she holding the paw up, and I'm feeling so damn bad for my damn dog, cause she act like she that got her damn paw, bro. I'm like, come here, let me see. And like, did I hurt? I'm so sorry. You feel so sorry, and it just. Today, I don't normally address stuff like that. What she do, I don't give a F. I don't address her when she talk about me. I don't give a F. But I felt some kind of way about this damn dog. And you knew it. You sit there and you said, I think I hit something. And kept on going. Kept on going. Didn't even get out to see what the hell you hit. That's dirty. That's dirty. That's beyond dirty and mind-blowing. 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 I, 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 I can't make this stuff up. Huh? I, that's what I said. If I get out and I said, oh my God, I hit a dog, I probably would freak the hell out. Please, I, I didn't see the dog ran in front of my bed. I'm half blind. I can't see in one eye. I, don't, I didn't see it. I, oh Lord, please, I didn't mean to do this on purpose. I don't know. Now, I would have been freaking out. Remember I hit that bird? I feel bad hitting that bird. You know the bird went into the window? This 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 child right here. Let me say something. He want he don't want to kill a mosquito. Like, <laughs> boy, you kill a kill a get pop that damn mosquito. Oh no, I don't want to pop the mosquito. Okay, so let let the mosquito fly around and live and, and, and drain all the blood out of our ass. Okay, just let it go. <laughs> That's how I be thinking. Are you serious? Like, we are animal people. A lot of people, even if they didn't have animals, they still feel some type of way because you just ignored the poor thing. Yes, yeah, she heartless. Yes, we don't play about our animals, okay? And I, right now, I have no animals, okay? I have a dog, and anytime I'm driving past a dog that's been hit, killed, it breaks my heart. Me too, Crystal. And I don't even have no animal. But I once upon a time was a dog lover. Okay. I, I had I had this one chihuahua. Oh Lord, I don't even want to think about the chihuahua. Because I've been drinking, I get sensitive. But anyways, I had this one chihuahua. I taught that dog everything. The dog was beyond smart. The dog was woo! I had that dog trained to the T. Do you understand me? I used to have a bag, you know, that I carry my dog in a bag. So every time I'm getting ready to put on my shoes, he would jump in the damn bag. I was like, you ain't going with me. <laughs> You're not going today. You better take your butt to the cage. If I, When I say cage, he just go to the cage. Like he didn't want to go to the cage. But I was like, oh, you ain't going. But when it's time to go, he jump in that bag. I said, come on, get in the bag. He's little head sticking out. I was happy to go. Man, I told my son the other day, I said, I want a dog. I just don't have time for a dog right now. Like, I want a little, I really want a chihuahua. <laughs> I just don't have the time. But anyways, um, and I could imagine somebody running over my little chihuahua. I can't imagine. And I think this dog was a little bit bigger. Oh, Kai got the damn phone. I think this dog was a little bit bigger because, you know, her van and you can see the little figure I showed y'all. Did y'all see the figure I showed y'all? You can see it. So once she hit it, I know she heard it. Because, girl, you're not deaf. You're not deaf. If we heard it on the camera, you heard it in real life. You heard that dog. That's what my dog dog do when I walk slap slowly to his cage. There's a lot of work they need to be enough attention. There's a lot of work they need a lot of attention. Yes. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, Justine. Hey, KM Bay. I got to my for two furry buddies. They're here with me. She couldn't even say I couldn't stop. I was running out of gas. Girl, you couldn't even fake it off. 
Cause you so goddamn heartless. You 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 so you know. Then they girl. Let me tell y'all. If y'all have not subscribed to Circus Peanut, y'all need to run over there right now. She had. I mean, he she. I don't even know who Circus Peanut is. It could be a boy. It could be a girl. It, I don't know what it is. But listen, go over to Circus Peanut. They had posted something on the channel about uh what all the things that she said about a dog, and she was talking about like. How y'all, how y'all have the dog in y'all bed and dog being outside licking their ass and then shows Miss Charlene in her bed with her dog. <laughs> I was like, this is so sad, but it's kind of funny. I was like, this is so sad, but true, but funny. Y'all got to go subscribe to Circus Peanut. You saw it? Yes. Circus Peanut put videos out straight to the point and, 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 and I love it, okay? She gonna sh just like when they sh sh circus peanuts show her grabbing Mary a uh, a chest. I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't even know she had did that. I thought it was like a group hug. I did not know she did that. So that's the circus peanut video. I was like, Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. In circus recap. Yeah, sorry, circus recap. Melissa, you know what I'm talking about, girl. Thanks, Justine. But Vanessa make it easy for us because she puts it out there. Yes, circus. Yes, circus, she do. And then she get mad because we talk about it. But we're not talking about something in our heads. We're not pulling something out of the sky. We're talking about something you put on your video. I would never, I don't watch her. I don't watch her. But I would never have known that if I didn't see Circus in Eris B video. This is something off her video. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Like she posted it. Then had a nurse say, I think I hit something. As if it's okay to hit something. Damn! It's okay to hit something? Okay, that's considered hit and run, girl. That is a charge. I don't know if it's a misdemeanor, felony, or whatever, but you hit an animal. What about if you would have hit a person? You wasn't going to stop to see what you hit? You wasn't going to stop? You said you think you hit something. You wasn't going to stop? I don't get it. I don't. I don't get it. And then Eris be saying, do y'all think we going too hard on Tasty? Do y'all? And I feel, girl, I feel what she's talking about because I have a sensitive side of me. And that's, you know, that's kind of like my downfall with a lot of things. I be feeling so sorry for other damn people. I let them screw over me because I feel so sorry for them and not, not take enough for myself. And then I had to sit there and say, like, girl, no. She put this out here, like, until, I, this is what I said in the chat. I said, until we see change, then we can fall back. But I have not seen a change. Until she, anybody can say, I change. Oh, I change. I'm trying to be a better person. Okay, that's cool. Let, let's see you do it. How can the hell you say you change in the same breath and say, oh, uh, who cares about a uh, designer? Who cares about all this crazy stuff? Like, girl, you ain't change. You still trying to throw shots. That's not changing, boo. That's not changing. How about you address the dog? Is you ever going to address the dog? I want to know if you're going to ever address the dog. That was your change. Hey, y'all. People been coming to my chat. And I'm wrong. And I should have been addressed this. I just didn't know how to address it. How about, you know what? Her heart is not even there. I I, I can't put my heart, make my heart somebody else's heart. I can't. I, I, I can't even make it up. Because she's somebody I could never be. Okay? I, 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 can't, even, I can't even talk for her. But the good thing, the, the right thing. Look at these fruit flies. Like, this is crazy. The right thing was to do was to address it when people brought it to your attention. Not block them. Not block them. You know, somebody told me, put um, dish soap and apple cider vinegar in a cup for the fruit flies. Oh, yeah. 
You ever heard about that? Oh shit! I'm doing. I'm, I'm making that concoction tonight. Cause these came from the. I'm thinking these came from the bananas. That's why I told them. But anyways, guys, I don't want to keep talking about the same thing because I had talked about that this morning. And then I just want to come back tonight because I said I was going to come back tonight and have a cocktail with y'all, which I did. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to Circus Recap. Uh, I want to see more videos. <laughs> I love their videos. I love their commentary. Subscribe to Eris B. You know, everybody, even though they talk, maybe talk about, even if they talked about the same subject, everybody talks about a different circus recap is more like a, a more of an editor. They don't have to say anything because their video is going to say it. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Their video is going to speak volumes. They don't have to say it because they're going to make the content speak for itself. That's what circus do. Eris B, she does commentary. Just like Defining Deborah does commentary. Now, they can comment, do the same video, talk about the same thing, but their input is different. And I like it because everybody have a different perspective. And then when you think about it, like, oh, I didn't think about that. That is right. I could come on here and present something that they didn't even think about. You know what I'm saying? They can come on here and, and present something that I didn't even think about. I was like, girl, I didn't even think about that. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Cleaning up. I like, <laughs> girl, you cleaning up. I was cleaning up earlier. I ain't do I ain't cooked or nothing. I had left some. I just did um, hey Eris B. So yeah, subscribe to Eris B. Subscribe to Defining Deborah. Subscribe to Circus Recap. Then one of my you know, go-tos. I go there every day. When I don't see a video, I get mad. What? Why they ain't post nothing? <laughs> and, you know, people, I know they got their life. Because, baby, I have my life, too. So, I, I can't be mad at them. But I like the stuff they put out there. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I do have a... Stay tuned. I have a little uh, short I'm going to make, too. And I hope y'all enjoy it. Because I find it a little amusing, Okay. I'm not gonna talk about it. You just gonna have to wait for it. So I want I'm gonna put it out tomorrow. Since this woman is on my mind and, and what she did was wrong, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna put it out there and I'm mm-hmm. She talk about every day. Eris B, why the woman didn't talk about the dog? Why is she ignoring people about the dog? Because she wrong. Because she wrong, she don't wanna admit she wrong. But the good, if you had a heart. If, and let's, let's, I'm just going to say my heart because, baby, my heart is not her heart. She don't have a heart, okay? She's heartless. I have a heart. So if it was me hit a dog and I didn't know, I would have been like, oh, y'all, thank you for bringing it to my attention. I feel so bad. I didn't realize I hit a dog. I was so wrong. Oh, I feel so bad. I don't know what to do. What y'all think I should do? Like, I, it was a mistake. Should I go back up there? Should I contact? I don't know what to do. Can y'all help me? Like, but what she did? Block, block, block. Uh-huh, these trolls. These trolls want attention. Girl, you hit a damn dog. What you mean the trolls want attention? They want to know what happened with the dog. Why you ain't address the dog? Why you hit the dog? Why you kept going? That's what they want to know. That's not trolling. That is not trolling. Help her, help her, help her, little dear Lord, help her, help her, please help her, okay? Because I don't know what's wrong with this woman. The, bo <laughs> the dog wasn't in the bag. I, who said that? Who said that? The dog, the dog wasn't in the bag's eyesight. I'm gone, Karen. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm done. <laughs> she said that wasn't. She said, this the good eye. The dog was in the good eye. The bad eye didn't care. I'm done, Karen. I'm done. You is so right. I didn't think about it. I didn't, oh, because yes, early this morning, I was confused. I didn't know what eye was I. I don't want to know. I didn't know what eye was I. 
You know what I'm saying? I was, I just didn't have time to be figuring all that stuff out. But now that you said something, the good eye caught the dog. The bad eye, well, it wasn't going to catch up with nothing because it won't see nothing anyways. So, so the peripheral vision <laughs> was on this side. This woman seeing the damn dog. I don't, Hello, Kai. Kai, let me see the let me see the phone. Let me see the phone one more time. Let me see the phone one more time. Oh Lord Jesus. Jesus! Let's go to recap. I'm going to circus recap. I'm going to the community pose. Oh sh it was the good eye. It was the good this eye. This this one right here. It's, it's mine. And it saw. But I don't know if she saw it. I think the reflection it's saw. It's mine. I, girl, she had to be able to tell her own damn story. But she can't lie. We see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dog entered on the... See? Oh, y'all. I'm confused. She said, no, the dog entered on the bad eye. Lord, child, I'm confused. Help me, help me, help me, help me. But listen, if I'm making a video, y'all gonna see me like this, okay? This is the eye that's good. Her left eye is the one that's bad. You can tell by her glasses, because she wear glasses, hold on. See, when I wear my glasses, y'all can see they're pretty much straight, right? But because her eye is, look, her glasses is like, you know, like this. Girl, I can't even be serious. I look how I look. I can't. I can't do it. I can't talk about this woman. That that lopsided glasses. I can't do it. <laughs> I thought it was the left eye that's bad. Cause every time you look at her video, her glasses like this. So you know, of course, <sighs> the good eye is up. <laughs> Lord, stop it. Stop it, girl. Stop it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. She's not even supposed to be driving. And I'm, yes! Is that a handicap? Lord Jesus. Is that a handicap or a disability? Because, you know, if you lose a certain... Now, I'm not trying to be funny, y'all. I'm not trying to be funny. But if you lo lose a percentage of your usage in your arm... You can claim disability. I'm thinking if you got one eye working and the other one, that got to be some type of disability. You should not be driving because you can't fully look at the peripheral. But I can't talk about people because there's a lot of people that got one eye that drives. But baby, when you putting on a pair of glasses and the blue blockers, you're, 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 you're doing the most. It's becoming endangered to society. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? You're endangering society. And if you're getting on the highway, let me know what highway you're getting on so I can get off. Man, I see the mail again. Okay. I believe I have some chicken nuggets out there in my car. But they probably not no good. Hold on, my grandbaby wants to see me on this. Yeah, it's so yummy. It's so yummy. Oh. <laughs> After this, it's time to. After this, when you eat your cereal milk, I'm gonna get off live because I'm gonna give you a shower, okay? Huh? After this, you go. After you eat your cereal milk. What? Listen. After you get eat your cereal milk, then I'm gonna give you a shower. Okay. I'm gonna get off live when he eat finishes eat to eat his cereal milk. Girl, why would you? And then I feel like this. Whoa. This. This is what I feel like. If you're blocking people. Why are you causing? If you're blocking people because they asked about the God. Oh, Lord. I say ask about the God. If you're blocking people because they asked oh. about the, the dog, that's 100% guilty. You got it, man. Mm -hmm. I've been talking so much. That's 100% guilty. If you're blocking people because they're asking about the dog and you're going to say they're trolling, they're asking about a dog. And if I was the people in your chat, I'd be like, what are they talking? I would be like, 
What are they talking about you hit a dog? These, these folks in the chat is goddamn brainwashed. These people in the chat is brainwashed. Okay, let me tell y'all something. I didn't see the video when um I didn't see the video when she went camping and Miss Edna came to the uh fire and they said um she had um burnt she almost burnt Miss Edna hand. So when I was in her chat, this is the guy honest truth. When I was in her chat, because I don't catch everybody live, you know what I'm saying? I can't catch everybody live. I'll be doing other things. So when I seen um when I seen um um somebody had came into her live and said you you almost burnt Miss Edna. Did you burn Miss Edna? She was blocking them. And so I had asked her, I said, what is they talking about? You burnt Miss Edna. They talking about some you oh they think I burnt Miss Edna hand. I didn't burn Miss Edna hand. Uh they talking about I almost I didn't burn her. So I just took it like, okay, well, maybe they just stretching the truth or whatever. Then when I finally seen a video and I said, Oh, I see see why they asked did you burn miss edna hand because you was pacing back and forth like and miss edna was trying to figure out some wood or something in the fire why would you douch you seen her hand in there uh unless this is the blind side uh, no it had to be the good side so anyways unless you seen miss Ed you had to see miss edna hand in the fire why would you douch the fire with the lighter fluid with her hand and she jumped up and said oh vanessa oh lord geez, i can't be saying this woman name so anyway she's like oh v man so she she jumped up and then um and i was like i see why people think she burnt her like look that was a cl man that was a close call i don't care what nobody said that was a close call you see what I'm saying? And so we see the animal in your glasses and we heard him. We heard him say, ah, like that he was hurt. You hit him. He was hurt. That was a cry for help. That was a cry for pain. Yes, I have a friend that's blind in one eye. It's sure she is a DMV. Please find out that to take it. I am wondering if she has a driver's license. I saw Circus video about her burning her arm. She did that on purpose. She walked up to, yes, she walked up. She was, you could see. Now I seen on Eris video. Eris said you could see, you could see her kind of like pacing. I don't know what the hell she was doing because all we seen was legs and feet, and I don't know what it was. So we seen her pacing, and I was like, like she doubts she like, what? I'm like, all right, I would not me. I would say, okay, Miss Edna, move your hand because I'm finna go ahead and squirt it with the lighter fluid. Eris B, <laughs> thank you for the super. Please thumbs up the lot. Thank you. Thank you for the super sticker, boo. I appreciate it. We always give each other love, y'all. We always give each other love. And I appreciate it. Thank you. I love you, girl. So, anyways. I was kind of shocked when I seen the video and I had asked her. I specifically asked her because this was last year. I had asked her about it because at the time we were still talking. This is when she had went to Texas and she didn't come back to Arizona yet. So I had mentioned it to her because I'm in the chat and I'm seeing people talking about it. And she and I'm asking her like, you know, these people mentioned. So People, y'all in her fucking chat and y'all see them asking about a dog and y'all not concerned? Y'all really think somebody's trolling her and they're asking, did she hit a dog? You know, sometimes people just, oh my God. Which I didn't see the video at the time. I was like, people mentioning that you that you burnt Miss Edna. What, what is that about? Did you? Oh no, I didn't burn Miss Edna. We was out at the at the uh, lake or whatever, at the campsite or whatever, and they tell me I burned me. I didn't burn her. Miss Edna's okay. I said, oh, okay. I ain't think nothing of it till I seen the video. Till I seen the video. And I said, oh, I see why they said that. Please thumbs it up. Yep, yeah, thank you guys. 
Hey, Talia, I'm doing good. How are you? She did premeditate that she was walking back and forth. Thank you, Nikki. Yes, she did. Chloe, the burn video was absolutely insane. I saw it on E-Res. Me too, Chloe. I done. Okay, she, he's done. All right, y'all. I'm going to have to get ready to get off here because my grandbaby Seth just told me he gave me the signal that he's done with his cereal because I said when he's done with his cereal, I'm going to give him a shower. <laughs> my grandbaby is on me. Do you understand me? He's going to keep me on all ten toes. <laughs> He's going to make sure, hey, abuela, I'm done with my cereal. I'm ready for my shower. Are you ready for the shower? Yes. Anyways, I'm feeling good. I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm blessed. I thank God for all, everything he has blessed me with. I am. I feel renewed. All the negativity has been taken out of my life. Negative people, negative friends, negative exes. Like, I'm so happy he removed. Sometimes we got to go through things for a reason. And I said to myself, I was thinking like, I wish I never met that woman. But then I was like, no, 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 no. It was a reason why I met her. It was a reason why I met her. Because if I didn't meet her, I wouldn't have met a lot of you guys. I wouldn't have met a lot of people that was trying to warn me. I wouldn't have met a lot of people that was trying to tell me about her. I wouldn't have been able to met a lot of people that she done wrong, dogged out, scammed, schemed, did all these dirty ass. I would never have met them. That was the, my reason to meet her. I'm not going to ever think that I went through something for nothing. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. And if I would never, I don't even know if I would ever have, if I didn't meet her, I don't even know if I would have ever, ever met an heiress B. I don't even know if I would have met a lot of you guys. But I just want to say thank you so much. We have a, our own little community here, you know. And we see the same things. And I always say if more than one person sees something, obvious baby there's a problem can't one person talk about something and, and and be able to be heard you gotta have a lots of people that notice the same things to be heard baby girl you need to take heed to this and fix your act up something is wrong with you that's why shit getting caught up with you that's why your views going down you ain't gonna go nowhere acting the way you do you need to be on your knees praying, asking God for help and forgiveness, doing something. Until I see change, change, I don't believe it. Anybody can say they're going to do something. Anybody can say they're going to do something until I see it. I'm, I, you know what? I had men say they ain't going to cheat no more, and they still cheat. Until, baby, you not cheat no more, I ain't going to believe it. Until you, ain't st you stop lying, I ain't going to believe it. Okay? Until you stop scheming, scamming, dirty, heartless, all that shit that you is, until it stops, I ain't going to believe it. I'm tired of being sorry for people. I'm tired of being sorry for people that take advantage of me. Until you stop talking about my material things, my car, my body, my everything, baby, I ain't going to believe it. Period. And with that note... <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I don't want to talk about this dog no more. This dog is going to consume me just like Diddy is consuming me. And I ain't got time for that in my head. <laughs> mm. She would never change. I don't think so, BP. Only time will tell. Let's, let's really see if she's going to change. She watches. Let's see. The heart is amazing. Yes. But you know what? Our heart is, is, is here for a reason. Okay? It is for a reason. It's for loving those that we need to love. Okay? But also, we got we to gotta stop letting people take advantage of us. I've been doing that for way too long. I'm 50 years old. I'm done. Okay? I'm done letting people take advantage of me. Bye, I just sing. Bye, Talia. Good night. She done talking about the dogs. <laughs> I'm done. I'm about to show me state, baby. Show me. Yes, kick rocks. I need proof. Let me show actions. You done talking about people? Let's see. Let's see. 
Let's see what she doing next day or two. Let's see. Okay? And if you got to address something, baby, it's in you. Your heart is not pure. You'll never change. Because if nothing bothers you, you wouldn't keep addressing it. Obviously, you're bothered. And you're going to keep on talking it. Keep Stay away from the negativity. You'll be good. But if you keep on addressing negativity, it's going to keep following you. Okay? People only react because what you put out there is craziness. <laughs> it's a... I could not drop something on the floor. This woman dropped something on the floor, picked it up off the floor, and ate it. I seen it on a res beat. <laughs> she got a goddamn crock on the on the stall. I wish I would put. I wish I put a house shoe on the stall. Okay, like I wish I put a house shoe on that mother. Like I'm not gonna do that. The truth does hurt, Nikki. <laughs> she is kind. Her heart is not pure. It's not. Like, at first, my video this morning, I didn't see the shoe. I went back and I said, let me see what they're talking about a shoe. I said, okay, here go Eris B to my crock. Somebody put it in the chat. Oh, girl, I thought you was talking about a crock pot. <laughs> so, Eris B says, it's coming, it's coming. I'm looking. And I'm, you know, when, when you see people, she gets you going. It's coming, it's coming. Just watch. And I'm like, oh, shit, here it comes. Where's it at? Where's it at? Because we looking for it. And then she picked up. I said, I be damned. I was like, I be damn. The girl got a crock on the stove. So you couldn't put the crock on the front seat on the floor. You couldn't put the crock down there on the floor by your bed. You couldn't put the crock pot down there, the crock down there on the step. You said you sleep with the, the door open. Why you put the crock down there on the outside? So when you walk in, the crock is on the outside. You, you could put the crock any goddamn where, even in the in, behind your uh, faux marble uh, doors, you could have put the crock box back there inside of a, one of those uh, tubs you got. You couldn't even do that on the stove. And then you want to teach somebody organization and cleaning. Girl, I don't want to see your organization. I don't want to see your cleaning because, baby, you don't know how to organize and you don't know how to clean. I'm so sorry to tell you. I don't want to see that shit. Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself. And ain't nobody finna charge a hundred dollars for that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You know what? That was a kill a bug. <laughs> no, she did take the hot the shoe off and kill the bug. Nasty, nasty. <laughs> I was fit to be tied on the end, tied that in the egg situation. What egg situation? I seen the egg thing, <clears throat> but I never understood. Why would she take an egg cart and stick it in another egg cart? And then she, she used her bottle as garbage, Lord child. And then what was that? And then, oh my God, this blew me away. So looking at that egg situation, looking at the door things, and then um, she's sitting up there in a, uh, what Deborah put on her thing? She's sitting in a damn place eating chocolate, and she did this. Bitch, you don't even, oh Lord. <laughs> Forgive me. Me. Hey, try to call it the the woman out her name, even though she called me out my name. But girl, you don't even do that on motherfucker. Uh, uh, I ain't never seen you do it. I never seen you do this. I ain't never seen you do that. I ain't never seen you. <sighs> Let me clean my palette. I got the stuff. I got the stuff. Y'all gonna make me say the B word. Huh? Look. Okay. So, anyways, why was you putting on. Huh? 
I usually have to blow me in the face. I know, I know. Okay, we're about to get ready. Girl, she can't have to keep it real suck in the face. <laughs> You, why was you putting on like that at the at the place? What is it? Was it fancy? Cause it didn't look too fancy to me. But you was acting like it's fit. And then you, what happened to this? Why you do that, girl? I, I can't lick my fingers. You want some of this? Okay, turn it up. Come on, you you and this music stuff. Why? Chip. Now now normally all that damn smacking too. I can't stand that shit either, huh? Like, girl, so, and then, normally, I, where was your wipes? You had a napkin. <laughs> this was she was. Whatever Deborah put on her damn thing, that blew me away. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What do we have here? Little Miss Phony. Because, baby, you don't get down like that. You don't not get down like that. You're not Miss Cutesy. You're not Little Miss Pretty. You're not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You did. You know that's how you get down. When your wife's. You, <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Like it sounded like somebody was screaming at her at, to watch it, and then you heard the bump. She knows she hit. She started looking around and sped up. No. She, from what I remember, she looked at that camera trying to, like, oh, hold on. Did they see that? Shit. Let me keep it going. I don't know that. <laughs> Let me just say something else. Ooh, I think I hit something. Because normally, that's a normal reaction. But next, you're supposed to have stopped to see what the hell you think you hit. You wasn't in no type of danger. It was broad daylight. You wasn't scared for your dear life. You could have stepped out your damn van and seen what had happened. But instead, you knew damn well you heard that damn dog. You heard that damn dog in your ear. And you faked it off because you knew you was on live. You faked it off because you knew you was on live. Let, 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 let's keep it real. Okay? And then you sit down. Where the, when the hell did she go to this, this chocolate? factory somebody said willy wonka when did she ever get to the willy wonka chocolate factory where she was sitting down trying to act like miss prissy and then uh normally she licks her fingers where did she get that napkin from she don't use napkins we know damn well this woman don't lose napkins she used antibacterial wipes for every damn thing she wiped her counter she wiped her face she wiped her hands she wiped her ass <laughs> Girl, you're not supposed to use your bottom with them wipes. You know that, right? You got to get baby wipes. You cannot, you got to get wipes for the right things. You cannot use them kind of wipes. They will break your ass out. And I heard Eris B said something about you said your butt was breaking out. Baby, them not the wipes you're supposed to use for your butts. Girl, you got to stop it. Stop it with the nonsense. Stop it, girl. You're 50 some years old. Grow the fuck up. Grow up. Oh, sorry, huh? Don't say that. Sorry. Grow up, okay? You use the antibacterial wipes that have a different kind of uh, uh, solution on it. It's for it. It's just like, would you wash up with antibacterial uh, a gel? Would you put that gel on your face, huh? Would you take it, spill it around, it, it, it. girl? That's what you're using on your butt, and your bottom is sensitive. Is you using them antibacterial wipes on your butt? You need to stop it. Stop it. Okay? I'm trying to help you. Now, they said something about your bottom was sore. Like, girl, you stop using the antibacterial wipes for everything. I remember one time she's like, I was like, I had reached in my purse. I said, huh? Wait, hold on. Let me, I got to demonstrate. <laughs> So we get we get to my car, and I said, "Who wants some antibacterial?" Uh, Cause you know we was just out and about. Huh? You want some? And I said, "Huh? You want some V man? You tasty? You you want some antibacterial?" Oh no, I uh, I don't use that. Oh okay. She said she don't use this, but you use antibacterial wipes 
What is the difference between wipes and a hand, and a hand sanitizer? You use the antibacterial wipes. What, what's the difference between hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer and the stuff that's in here? You can, I would not use this to wash up in, wash my face, wash my bottom. So why would you use the wipes to wash your bottom? I would think those antibacterial wipes I use, I use for my counter, I use for my phone, I use it for that type of stuff. I'm not going to put it nowhere near my body. She used it for her hands, but she claims she don't use this. She don't use this. I'm just being honest. This is what she told me. She don't use this. She used the wipes. These damn fruit flies. Fruit fly. Mm. Come on, come on, come on, come on, fruit fly. Come on. Where you at? I'm tired. I, 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 I really want to. Bam. What the? She used it. Oh my God. She used it. Is it shampoo or conditioner? Who wash their body with shampoo? Who does that? She said, oh, I went to the store and bought the wrong thing. I said, what you mean you bought the wrong thing? Oh, I bought all these bunch of conditioners. I said, oh, what you, what you want to buy? Shampoo? And I'm thinking like, damn, why does she need so much shampoo to wash her hair? She ain't really got no hair. She said, what I use this for my body. Do you use shampoo for your body? Oh, okay. Baby, I never, I never heard of that day in my girl. You're 50 some years old. Who raised you? Oh, that's right. I forgot. She raised herself, girl. If you was nice to me and was friends with me, I would help you to be more ladylike. But since you want to be jealous and upset and mad and talk about me and things I have in my body, you figure it out. You made it this far. 50 some years old, yeah. you'll keep on making it. Period. Level 15. I'm not using shampoo is for my hair. I'm not using shampoo on my body. I'm not using conditioner on my body. I'm using body soap, body scrub, body stuff. Okay? That's what I use on my body. Body stuff. If if something is made for your hair, it's made for your hair. If something is made for your face, it's made for your face. I'm not finna put shampoo on my face. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm not finna use antibacterials on my butt. Mm-mm. Baby, you gotta start investing in some baby wipes. Okay? Invest in baby wipes. That's, that's more gentle for your butt. <laughs> Eric, stop it. <laughs> Eric B said that's why her skin looking like gator skin. She don't take care. She don't exfoliate. She don't wash with the proper things. Do y'all know our skin is the biggest organ on our body? You better watch what you're putting on your skin. And anything that goes on our skin is absorbed. And I've learned different parts of our body, even though it's one skin, Different parts of our body is more sensitive than others. I swear, I cannot put my face products on my neck. Do anybody remember when my neck broke out? Y'all remember when my neck broke out? I was putting face products on my face and rubbing it down my neck. Boy, I had that big ass rash, look like a hickey. Who remember that? I went to urgent care. I went to the damn doctor said I had a chemical burn. I was like, what the hell's going on? I got this big old rash looking like a hickey. Baby, this is one skin, but different parts of our body is more sensitive than others. Do you understand that? And different parts of our body, the skin is more tougher than the other parts. I cannot make this up, okay? The other parts is more, girl, you shampoo if you want to. Okay, that's not gonna do nothing for you. It might age you a little bit, like 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 Eris B said, you getting that gator skin. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it's doing for you, but it's supposed to be used for your I hair, the hair, the follicles for your hair, not the skin. Do you understand me? Do your research. You look up black seed oil. You look up carnivore diet. Look up shampoo. 
I will knock it off. Look up shampoo. This is marshmallow. Yeah, this is marshmallow. Let me see the date on here. Because yeah, I can't I give you so. nothing expirated. Wait, hold on. Let me check the date. Well, I okay, June, it, June 9th, 2024 is good. What the? What the what? What the? She clean her head with. She clean her head with the white. Y'all not. Do, do she clean the head with the wipes? Because that might be the reason why your head bald. Oh, Lord. I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Let me get this cut. Put, put, the, put the play back. Put the play back. Why? Because I'm putting the bowl. Put the play back. Oh, shit. I got to fly out the bowl. Hold on. I get my grandbaby. This is one of my grandbaby snacks I get him. Some people might not like marshmallows. I give him marshmallows for snacks. I'm supposed to be off here, y'all, giving him a shower. Y'all got me talking because y'all keep on saying stuff about... I, I normally don't say nothing. Look, marshmallows. I normally don't say nothing. I be on Aries B and stuff, videos, and and I, I don't usually say nothing. I just be like, man, that's crazy. Or, man, this woman will just never learn. But, baby, come on, fruit fly. This woman will never learn. Like, I've never seen a woman that take care, take care of herself like the way she do. My mama from the South. Do you understand me? I never seen my mama bathe in no shampoo. And she used to grease her body with Vaseline. <laughs> you know, back in the days, they used to Vaseline for everything. My mama used to grease her body with Vaseline, baby. But now these days, I wouldn't dare put Vaseline on my body, clog your pores. <laughs> Kai eating up something tonight, right? She used, a, she used the bath soap to shred up to kill bugs, not for the body. I'm done. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Nikki. No. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, that's a good snack, yo. Oh, my God. I wish I had a tie. Do I have a tie? I'm about to get off here. I haven't heard it all. She used soap for the bugs. Let me say, Ryan, the van life for Ryan. Ryan found a mice in her his van. Girl, you better hope you don't find a mice in your van. You better hope you find a mice in your van. Hey, Justin, I'm so glad I caught your live because I wanted to tell you I'm in Arizona visiting my daughter and I thought of you. I love it here. Hey, Kim Life. How long are you gonna be in Arizona for? Remember the day I miss I miss Charlene how she put the mud all over her hands. I remember that. She put Come now on. this is supposed to be I don't know if it was a face mask or what she was doing, but she did. I was like that. I was like this woman do anything for views. She knows she looks stupid. She knows she looked as stupid, but she do. I be damn. I get on here and put clay all over my goddamn body like that. She don't. Uh, and she looking at the damn video, the camera, like it's serious and shit. Girl, you know nothing about self-care. You don't know what it takes to do self-care. You don't know about self-love. You don't know nothing. Okay? You just be on here doing some bunch of BL. I mean, BS. <laughs> you be on here doing some bunch of BS, girl, for the views, girl. You is a trip. You is a trip. Look up shampoo. You talking about people look up black sea oil, look up carnivore dye, look up shampoo. See if that's good for your skin. Because it is some shampoo that's good for, kind of for the body. Girl, you need that kind of shampoo. That's suave. You use suave. I remember suave. You said I need sh suave shampoo. I done messed up and picked up suave conditioner. Girl. Thank you. You use, you're welcome. You use shampoo? Girl, I have all kind of moisturizers and hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. Me and you are not the same. Most definitely not the same. I cannot relate. I cannot relate to you. 
Like, who are you? <laughs> who does that? Like, I would like to ask anybody. My, my boys, my boys do skincare and, and, and grooming and they take care of their stuff. And I've never once seen them put a goddamn shampoo on their face or their bodies. They would not dare. And they, and they guys. She don't want no hair or anything else. She wants to look pitiful because she wants people to feel sorry for her. So they keep donating and give her money. Unfortunately, I'll leave it in the morning. I'll leave in the morning, but I'll be back. I live in Miami. Okay, Kim. If I'm ever in Miami, girl, I'm going to be looking you up. She made a DIY video. It was Irish Spring Soap. For what? Cut the pieces of ass off. Two people talking about the uh, fruit flies. Y'all, I'm going to make a decoction tonight. I'm getting rid of these things. Hey, princess. How you doing? She got bars of Irish spring soap put around the cracks of her shed. The shed, we talking about something she used to live in months ago. Because she's on the run. Neck, face, feet, kick, <laughs> cat. Oh, shut up, Elvis. Elvis, be shut up. Oh, she's on the kick. Uh-uh. I, uh-uh. And and you we know that down there is very sensitive for me. I can't even use feminine wash. Do you know one time I was using feminine wash? I got the like itching and irritated down there. And then I went to the doctor and the doctor said, Well, did you change up your soap? What did you do? And I said, Oh, I started using some feminine wash. He said, Stop using it. Obviously, it's irritating you. I gotta use feminine wash. Like certain things in your body you cannot use. Something she's using, she's putting on her butt to make her butt hurt. Stop using it, um, Tasty. Girl, you need to know how to... Girl, do you know anything about your body? You're a woman. You should know stuff about your body. Thank you for advice on skincare. You're welcome. Hey there, Justine. This is a great night tonight. You up, Carlotta? I'm about to get off here, though. She like wearing step... I remember my mama and them used to say that, you know how younger you used to tell your kids, get that shower, your draw is so stiff, you ain't took no shower, you don't clean your butt. <laughs> That's some things I heard when I was little. How is we talking about some stuff when you grown? You grown. Your kids, you used to have to make getting stuff. Let me tell you something. I made my kids get in the bath all the time. Now... It's, it's amazing how they love to take a shower. It's amazing how they used to, they love to take a bath. Because as kids, we don't like to do that. Let's just be honest. Girl, you on some kid shit. You on some kid level type shit. It's like you need, you really need an um, a assistant. You need a helper in your life. You need somebody to tell you what to do. And that's sad to be grown and 50 some years old. Like, you need an assistant. Somebody, please help her. 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 She need a helper. Who going to help her? Nobody. <laughs> Who the hell going to come and help her? She in the woods somewhere. She hiding from Miss Catherine and the, and the attorneys and the, and the kids. She hiding for other people, too. Okay? She hiding for other people, too. What about the ones you put the address out there? What about the ones you try to scheme and scam? Hmm? Hmm? Miss Catherine ain't the only one. Girl, you on the run. Then you got another court case in May. So you probably was like, well, shit, I don't want to drive all the way to up there to, to uh, what, what was that, Vegas somewhere? I don't want to drive all the way up there to Nevada, go over there to Miss Charlene house, and got to come all the way back down here, man. I might as well just stick it on out, see what they want. And these people don't want nothing you're talking about. They want nothing you're talking about. You walk in stores for what? You think you care about what's in a store? You a van lifer. You supposed to live up to your title of your name. Van life. Where the hell is you doing? When are you going to do that? When did you ever do the band life content? Because you're not doing what Ryan does. You're not doing what The Finest is doing. You're not doing what Nomadic Introvert is doing. 
They're doing nothing about what you're doing. And trust me, I believe everybody has their own little niche, but baby, you have none. You're still trying to find your way. You you went from ASMR, mukbang, tea, uh, uh, commentary, uh, reaction. Girl, you lost. You all over the damn place. These people have came to the van life community and stayed with it, stuck with it, because this is what they do. You don't even know what you're doing. Now, building that damn van was exciting. Go ahead, how you gonna decorate? How you gonna do? How you gonna live? That shit was exciting. But now all that's the past. What is you doing now? Who cared about what, what wilderness you in? Who cares about what campsite you in? You're not even doing shit at the campsites. Eris B, thank you for the super chat. I don't see you fishing. I don't see you grilling. I don't see you doing nothing outdoorsy. How you live is outdoorsy. How I live is indoorsy. This is indoorsy, a house, a home, brick and mortal. This is normally how people live. You're doing something that people don't normally live like that, so it's supposed to be on a whole different level. All you do is sit in that van and talk about people. Come on now. That's not exciting. That's boring. And then you're asking people what kind of content, what kind of things they want to see. You as a content creator, you should already know what the hell you should first be doing. Why is these people got to help you? <laughs> I wake in the A. I wake up like this. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Justine. And Kai. Hey, y'all. What y'all doing? Uh, this is how I wake up. Okay, I'm feeling my life, okay? Yeah. What the? Oh, he got to turn it on. There we go. He got to turn it on, boy. But this, this is what I do. This is what I'm saying. Like, this is... This is what I do. As a van lifer, I would, I would think, as a van lifer, you should already know what to do, how to live, what kind of content you're creating. You live in a van. Every day should be exciting and different. No matter their, their, no matter their, what's her name? No matter introvert. Girl, I'm thinking about the damn lady old channel. No matter uh, introvert. No matter introvert used to work a 16 hour job. She would get off work. She, and that was exciting. Is that the camera? This is a. Yeah, this is a, I think it's a Mark II. Y'all, this is raggedy as hell. This is raggedy as hell. Look, it's a Mark, a Mark II. Bianca, girl, where you been? I ain't seen you in a minute. Thank you, Bianca, for the super chat. Now, as a content creator, if I'm sitting up here and I'm like, okay, let's say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a makeup artist and all I do is makeup, what looks would y'all like to see next? Would y'all want to see the natural look? Y'all want to see glam look? Do y'all want to do like extreme? Do now, I would ask you something like that. But girl, you a van lifer. Won't you ask the people what kind of things they want to do? Do y'all want me to see me cook? Do y'all want to see how how I uh, shower in the, uh, when there's no, I mean, what, I mean, whatever van life people need to do. Like, how about y'all want to see me doing something on a, in a, how my day to day go? Girl, why are you asking people what to do? You don't even know what to do. You confused. And you doing this for how many years? Let me see. Last year was, I met you. You've been doing it for like, um, so you going on like two years? Two years of no brick and mortar? Girl, you should be, all, you should have as much content every day picking up that camera and doing what I do, but you're doing it in bad life. I'm doing what I do in brick and mortar. Okay? Everybody, life is interesting in some way, shape, or form. That's what it's supposed to be like. Girl, you sitting in a goddamn van, eating, talking stuff, farting, shitting, piss, all that kind of stuff, like hitting bugs, eating off the floor. You're doing the most. And then you wonder why people talk about you because look at the shit you're putting on here. You're giving people something to talk about. And you're taking advantage of your handicap and your disformity, and you're taking a, a, a advantage of it, think it's gonna get you views, and really it's not getting you views. Only teen, only um, tiny home tours getting you views. 
all the time tiny home toys. They had to do it for you. Because even your disability, your handicap, your disformity, that couldn't even do it for you. Child, I'm done. I got to get off here. Because <laughs> I, 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 I cannot. Okay? I cannot. <laughs> Hi for work, bush wash your Hey, just that. Home for work, just that. How you doing? Welcome. You are speaking nothing but the truth. <laughs> I don't have to get on here and scheme scam. I really put my true, true life out here with my breakups and my relationships and all the, the mess that I went through in between. I can't make this shit up. This is the God honest truth, okay? But I'm not gonna come out here nappy headed, undone. Sometimes I do come undone. Let's not keep it real. But I keep it real, okay? Uh, sometimes I'm not done enough when I, but you know what? I'm not gonna come out here stanky and all that, miss, and using, wearing clothes for five days and not taking a bath. I don't do that. Uh, I, I, I don't do that. I'm gonna take a bath. I love to smell good. I love to look my best, even though it might not be my best. Like today, I don't got on no makeup, but hey, I look presentable, okay? Like, I ain't got to do all that. Girl, you come on here four or five days, you give somebody something to talk about. You wear the same thing for the whole week, you give somebody to talk about. You talk about how you ain't had a bath. I could imagine, if you ain't had a bath, did you wash up? Did you walk? Because a woman needs to wash up. We're not built like men's. They can shake it and move on. We got a whole different system down there. Let's be real. Like, we have to stay clean or we're going to cause a smell. Let's be honest, okay? Like, I have to, if I'm not taking, like, I got to say, if I'm not taking a shower when I wake up in the morning, I got to take a bird bath. I got to wash my fat. I got to I gotta wash the back of my, but my mom always say you got to wash your neck or else your neck get black. I got to wash my neck. I got to scrub under my arms. And sometimes you got big breasts. You got to get underneath them. You got to wash down there, baby. Like, wash down there. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, is you doing that? I don't think you're doing that. Like, introvert, she took us on laundry trips. Even though she might not even have shit to really wash but a bag of clothes. But hell, baby, she did it. I ain't never, ever, ever seen this woman go on a laundry trip. Y'all seen her go on a laundry trip? Y'all let me know because I ain't never seen her go on a laundry trip. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I love introvert. I love introvert. I seen her video at 5K subscribers. And by her content... I told my kids, hey, y'all, I found a new van lifer. This girl is going to blow up. She kind of studies or whatever, but her content is really good. Really eye-catching and stuff like that. I like her. I told my kids about her before she even blew up. Baby, she blew up, okay? We're talking about 200K subscribers now. And she's just been on the scene for about two years, right? So, baby... That's what I'm saying. I know a good content creator when I see one. I wish I could be like that. I I hope one day I'll be like that. Uh, I hope one day somebody find me interesting. <laughs> and then I had considered van life and stuff. Only reason why I had considered van life because, you know, out here is very expensive. People that live in Phoenix, they know what I'm talking about. It makes you kind of doubt yourself. It makes you kind of feel like, damn, can I really make it out here? It's so expensive to live. Can I really do it? You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's, your life is really up for a challenge these days. Ever since the COVID hit and all these markets that went up, girl, we live in a whole different time. Okay? And with that going through my mind, I think too much. I think too hard. And then I'll be thinking, damn, can I make it? I don't know if I can make it. Can I make it? I don't know if I can make it. Maybe I'm just going to have to live in my car. You know, that's how I feel at one time. And people was talking about, oh, Justine don't hear dry bagging. How the hell I'm dry bagging? I'm talking about living in my damn car. Like, I'm telling you how I feel. And then people didn't think, you know, they like, oh, she's dry bagging. So I, be, I had took what I was going through. I made it. I made it me to understand what she was going through. But baby, what she was going through and what I was going through was totally different things, but I didn't know that at the time. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, I had to boss up. I had to kind of tell myself, girl, you, 
Girl, you been had it. You been doing it together. Girl, you been ain't depending on nobody. Girl, you better get your shit together. You better get up out of this. You can do it. You can do it. Because sometimes when you tell yourself you can't, you won't. So you have to like, like, like stand up. You gotta build up. You gotta like come up for yourself. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta be your, your best cheerleader. You gotta motivate yourself. You gotta encourage yourself because when other people ain't gonna be around to do it all the time. You don't need other people to hype you up. You need yourself. You gotta feel it. You gotta believe it. And that's what I had to do. I was like, all right, y'all. I got something to prove. I gotta prove to these people. I gotta prove to myself. I got this. What am I talking about? I can do it. I can do it. God damn it, I done done it. Damn it, I done done it. <laughs> no. Oh, that shook. Oh, my God. That's Chicago for you, but girl. That's how Milwaukee is. Where I live, girl, baby, that I hear gunshots every night. If I didn't hear a gunshot, I'm wondering what was wrong. Ain't that crazy? When you don't hear a gunshot, damn. It's quiet tonight. What's wrong? Where I live, I don't hear nothing. I don't hear no gunshots, no sirens, no nothing. I, 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 you know, the other night, this is crazy. The other day I was thinking, like, I'm, I'm really, I feel like I'm about to lose myself. Because I never, ever, barely even see black people. I barely even see black people. And I was wondering, I was like, oh. This is starting to get to me. And, and even though, you know, I got I'm not I'm not prejudiced or nothing or nothing like that, but it's starting to get kind of to me when you kind of like don't see your own kind. Like it, it, I, I I can't even explain this right online because I feel like people will take it the wrong kind of way. And I'm not trying to mean nothing in no mad bad kind of way. But I was kind of telling um my son families in, in town. And I was trying to explain to them, like, they was like, where, where, um, they asked me, I said, where the black people at? I said, baby, I'm still trying to figure it out. Now, I understand that we want to, it's not really like the black, black, because I got black people in my neighborhood, but it's very, 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 very most, um, Caucasian orientated, I can say, you know? And ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But where I'm from, baby, I'm from the hood. <laughs> where I'm from the hood, I'm from the hood. This is what I'm used to seeing every day. I, this is what I'm used to seeing every day. To live somewhere for seven years, and I don't see what I've been looking at for 40-something years. It's starting to get to me. And I'm trying to change my mindset and how I think about things. And I'm still in a growth process, and I'm not trying to beat myself up. I'm still growing. You know, my kids going to look at things a little bit different than I am because they're young, okay? I'm older. I, I, my perspective on life is way different. So they might not understand what I'm trying to say. But people that's my age and know what I'm talking about, they know what I'm talking about. It, 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 it gets you a little bit, okay? Like, sometimes you just want to see, like, a little bit more or something. You know what I'm saying? But trust me, my next husband might be Caucasian. I ain't going to lie. Because, <laughs> baby, that's all I see. <laughs> my, ba my next husband, my next man is going to be a little Caucasian. I don't care. My, 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 my daddy, he look like a white man, okay? My daddy looked white, even though he's Puerto Rican. I don't care about that. But skin color never really mean nothing to me, girl. I'm by, I'm biracial, okay? I'm mixed. So I'm never, ever, ever, ever racist, prejudiced, none of that, okay? So if you come to this channel, I expect the same from you. Please don't come to my channel and be racist and stuff like that because I do not promote that kind of stuff. I do not, okay? A mixed girl. I'm a mixed girl. I'm a half breed. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's starting to get to me a little bit. You're right because I've been here for one week and I can count on one hand the people I see. Every 
Thank you. But sometimes you have to be careful what you say on the internet because people take things the wrong way. And I'm not trying to be mean and I'm not trying to be that. And I love to, I love where I live. I love my neighborhood. I love, I'm just saying it's predominantly Caucasian. It's predominantly, you, you barely even see, you know, even if I see a Mexican, I'm just like, oh, wow, I see a Mexican. That's like how rare it is. And there are black people in Arizona, but they stay in a way different area than I do. And I don't want to stay in that area. <laughs> I don't want to stay in the area. Kind of my, my kids kind of schooled me on the areas out here. Because, you know, my kids was living out here before I was. Marisha and Hella Cray, they was living out here before I came. So they kind of schooled me on the areas. So, and then... You know, it's, it's, it's areas that you're going to see more, you know, predominantly black people. But my daughter was like, you don't want to stay in them areas. And I was like, okay, I just have to take it with a grain of salt, girl. You know? Same here, little mommy. See, little mommy said the same thing. My area is no blacks. Thank you. I, I'm not trying to be mean or nothing. It's just sometimes it gets to you a little bit, you know? But it's okay. It is what it is, you know. When you get older, you want more, you want to do better, you have to want it. Yes, Nikki, you have to. Unfortunately, Arizona is very red state and there's a lot of prejudice. I I didn't even know that making changes. So somebody said there are blue states. When Wasty was at the senior citizen, it was all white. See? I'd have been a little nervous being out there. But now once did you see her with the same color as her? It ain't got nothing to do with prejudice. We just saying it's not that many black people. It's not. I'm going to be honest with you. And I don't be ashamed. I don't be shy. I treat everybody the way I eat, how I treat everybody. I talk the same. I act the same. I'm not changing up who I am. Okay? You're going to love me or you don't. You know what I'm saying? And when I meet that man, my future man, he waiting on me somewhere, somewhere in a rich area he at. Mm-hmm, he rich. So he's somewhere in a rich area waiting on me to spoil me. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. And when he find me, uh, he ain't gonna have no problem with me because he gonna love me the way I am, period. Okay? <laughs> ah! Y'all be rich. Y'all be gonna spoil me. Y'all be gonna take me shopping. Y'all be gonna give me some money. Mm-hmm. Period. <laughs> uh, AZ is the rest day for the most part. I see. I'm starting to learn. I've been here for six years. I mean, seven years. I know. AZ turned blue when Biden won. <laughs> no, he's been like that ever since. Ever since. But you know what? I work with three. I work with three black guys from Zona. LOL, they left. They left Arizona? Did they say just Jeff why they left? Just Jeff. I want to know why the black people left. Did they say? What, what state you in? I want to know what state you in. Justin, I know what you mean. I moved from Texas to Maine. There are not many minorities. Very different. I miss being around people. See, Miss Lori, it ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Like, I love my neighborhood. I love the apartments neighborhood. Everybody around me was called. I, I didn't have no problem with it, okay? I've never, ever felt like prejudice. Nobody ever did anything wrong to me. Never. It's just sometimes you just want to see that. And I'm just saying, I just it just kind of got to me the other day. I just, I was like, I just noticed, like, I never see black people. Like, where they at? Like, do they, is there an area they hang out in or what? I don't know. Maybe I just need to stay away. Maybe I should just keep to myself. I don't know. Enjoy how my how it is. Maybe I don't need to be worrying about it. But you know, when you come from a state that you normally see, you know, your same kind all the time, it's a little different. And let me tell you something. When I used to go down south and I used to tell people I'm from Wisconsin, they was like, it's black people in Wisconsin. I was like, yeah, it's black people in Wisconsin. What are you talking about? It's plenty of us in Wisconsin. <laughs> oh. Anyways, let me get off here.
It's been, I've been on here running my mouth way too long. I ain't even expect this. And I can't believe it's 200 people up in here. It is, what time? 11. Y'all, y'all know y'all ain't got nothing to do. Oh my God, my, my aunt moved to Maine, but she moved back to AZ. She said Maine was, what? What? It's this girl that I had, I watched, I already talked to, to y'all about her. She lived in Boston, Massachusetts. She's a black lady. I think she's African. She's African and she got a Caucasian um, fiance. And girl, she is living the life. I want to y'all move to Boston. So I can live my life. <laughs> Girl, she's living the life. She lives in Boston. But I was thinking, I was like, I don't want to go to Boston. Boston is really kind of small. Ain't Massachusetts small? And I just got done with the snow. I would not move to another snow state. I would not move to another snow state. If I had to move from Arizona, I would go down to Texas somewhere. I got to go somewhere where it was no snow. Like, I'm tired of snow. I'm tired of snow. I, I can't do it no more. I can't. I'm from a small town full of Mexicans, and when I moved to Las Vegas, I was so happy to see people. Slim, you in Vegas? I need to look at those sunglasses to see the dog. Didn't catch it yet. Just Jeff. Just Jeff. You got to go to Circus Recap. Oh, my God, honey. Please, please, honey. Go over there to Circus Recap. Look at the community section, and then... You know, zoom in, use your fingers and do like this, and you're gonna see the little black air thing, but that's not nothing. Sometimes seeing is not enough. You're gonna hear it. You gotta watch the video, you're gonna hear it. And you're gonna be like, you're gonna, you're gonna hear it. You're gonna see the figure in the glasses. She's gonna say, and you're gonna hear it. No, you, you see this figure in the glasses, and you're gonna, uh, and she said, oh, I think I hit something. You know damn well you hit something. You know damn well what you hit. You know damn well. Won't you address it? Please address it. Get these people off your tell me something. Let them go ahead. They break. They want to go make. They're trolling. They want to. They're trolls. Girl, they're talking about what you did. Yes, I'm from Cali. I live in Vegas now. I used to want to live in Vegas. I wanted to live in Vegas, Vegas when my oldest son was in Vegas. But when he moved away, I didn't want to live in Vegas no more. <laughs> they say the dog ran on the side of her bad eye. I don't know. They said the bad eye. Then I heard somebody said the good eye. I don't know what eye it was. I'm confused. I don't know what eye it was. I'm sorry. I can't. I don't know. Some dogs bark at black witch. <laughs> Shut up, Joe. Shut up. Shut up, Jeff! I, you is too much. Don't say that, <laughs> he said he barked. She barked. Dog barked at the w witch. I don't know, Jeff. Stop it. Okay. She hit that poor baby. How about that? Are you getting a soda? No. Wow. Anyways, cause the soda. We finna get ready to take a shower. So you get ready for bed. Anyways, I'm about to get off this live, y'all. I appreciate it. You guys are too much. Y'all, I love y'all. I love, you know, I love the extra. I love the extra yeah, okay. in y'all, okay? What about this? <laughs> Just when you watch it, about that? look at the eye about and tell that? us if it was a bad side. What about this? Yeah, give me the cup. Give me the cup right here. Where? Right here. Oh. Um, yeah, you watch it, Jeff. Let us know. Everybody, we need to investigate this. Because I'm thinking it's this eye, which will be the good eye. But then Circus said she Circus said it was the bad eye. And somebody else said the bad eye. But then somebody else said it. I don't know. Y'all let y'all gotta be judge. Kai in his soul. Yeah. Good night, Justin. Kai, everybody. Good night, Miss Gloria. I'm about to get off. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I gotta get my grandbaby in the bed. It's late. So I thank you guys. I will see y'all tomorrow. I'll come back for Easter, okay? I love you guys. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. I love you. Bye. Um.